and welcome everyone to this week's episode of Call of Cthulhu Below the Land of Fire. Uh, people are healthy and well this week, unlike last week, so I, I guess the shaka took a little bit out of them, IRL. Uh, but we're here and we're excited to play, so let's go around as my green screen falls on me and say uh, who we are and who we're playing. Uh, I'm the Keeper of Arcane Lore, and we'll go to Yutsai. Yutsai, how are you tonight? Hey, I feel like a man with all his ribs. Hi, I'm Yutsai. I'll be playing uh, Parker Lee today, an antique dealer who uh, could have died last session, and he keeps thinking about that. That, that is very true. You very well could have died. Uh, someone who also could have died is Nagatosaurus. How are you? I am not dead, but I am hearing voices, a singular voice. Yes. So we'll see how that goes for now. Um, yeah, I'm Nagatosaurus. I'm play playing Bobby May Dean, the investigative photojournalist who fell into a hole due to a gunshot. Um and decided to go further into that hole instead of waiting for, you know, her companions to come pick her up. And things happened, so. I'm not feeling guilty about that at all. <laughs> Good. Someone who never feels guilt would be Snow. So, how are you tonight? <laughs> I'm about to feel very guilty because <laughs> I'm about to wrestle a cat off my keyboard. Um, oh. for being only on my keyboard. cat guilt, only cat guilt. Yes, yes. As for how I am doing, I am doing okay. Other than that, I am playing Irina Zhao. A please, please stop. <laughs> Cyrus does what he wants. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I am a <laughs> musical and sound technician. Previously played piano a lot, and. I'm trying my best not to be distracted by the cat while I'm trying to fight, but, um... I'm very happy to be alive, not so happy to be in a helicopter. Oh, it's a plane. Don't worry. Helicopters are far more unsafe. Um, <laughs> I would know. Uh, anyways, uh, we also have someone who is, uh, totally safe and not in a helicopter or plane IRL right now. Uh, Dimples and Dice, how are you? Nope, definitely not in any of those things. Uh, Doubles of Dice does not like heights, and getting in helicopters is one of my least favorite things to do. Uh, <laughs> hello, everyone. I'm Doubles of Dice. That is where you can find me on the internet doing all the things. I am playing Teddy, the Terror Gilbert, but I think after seeing the things that Teddy has seen, the Terror doesn't feel quite right anymore <laughs> because he feels far less terrifying than Teddy, he's ever felt before. The in Terror? Uh, yeah. Teddy the Terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Boxer turned bodyguard turned punk bitch at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. And last, <laughs> but of course not least, and uh, I don't know how terrified, uh, Hanimation, how are you tonight? I'm good. I'm fantastic. I am unflappable and um, excited to play. I am playing Dr. Bronwyn Hughes, who thus far has not had anywhere near the same amount of horrific experiences as everybody else, but we'll see how long that lasts. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing that can't be explained by science. I'm sticking That's... to that until it literally kills me. Wonderful. I'm here for it. Um, also, the benefits of joining the campaign later on is you have a little bit more sanity. Or at least slightly less horrific experiences. Uh, so what happened last time we played was they took uh, Die Frau, which is the seaplane, the 1933 uh, Junkers, W4, um, and... Flew over to Fuinguino, the little island with the little volcano out, uh, you know, out in the Chilean territory, technically. And uh, they did some exploring. The Dr. Renee uh, did some tests where she discovered uh, that the water temperature was taking a lot of water temperature readings, a bunch of stuff, and they had found some slag that had washed up ashore. And so she did some testing of that, rolled really well, and discovered that apparently it was left over from. Um, Whatever they were working on, they needed iron for and silver. So that's fine. I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, and then they decided to split up into three different groups and uh, explore the island a bit, looking for caves and, and some stuff, and to test uh, 
Just some theories. Uh, Irina and Dr. Bronwyn went off uh, to the water, to the north side of the island, um, and uh, stuck a tuning fork in and uh, didn't get lucky and felt some reverberations, and that was that was fine. Uh, it kind of anodized her tuning fork, so it's kind of like half rainbow. Ow. And uh, her arm went numb for about 20 minutes. It, it's better now. Um, Teddy and Parker went off to the well, western side of the island and uh, did some exploring, uh, shot an owl, uh, and uh, learned some things about each other. Uh, and when that shot went off, Bobby May, uh, who was <laughs> traversing the least easily accessed part of the island, which would be the south side of the island, heading down the, the volcano, uh, got startled, lost her footing, and fell in a hole. A lava tube, an old lava tube, no, no longer active, of course, and decided to go further in. Uh, so after a while, the group started looking for her, and they found her. She found a weird statue thing, took some stuff from the base of it, uh, and they all met up with her. She needed a little bit of medical attention. She had a twisted ankle a bit uh, and bruised ribs, um, mostly bruised ribs. And um, they heard a weird sound, a sound that they've heard before, but like in person, not just a radio signal. And they ran into their first adolescent little shoggoth. And they uh, escaped with their lives, though Parker's back has been flayed open a bit. They made it back to the uh, seaplane and are currently en route back to Ushuaia, Argentina. Uh, mostly so Parker can get more medical attention. He got first aid, so, I mean, he's not going to die, but yeah, he definitely might need a little bit of um, hospital care of some type. Or at least more medical equipment to deal with that uh, than the first aid kit that Dr. Hughes has. Uh, and while on the plane back, Bobby May asked a wonderful little question of Dr. Bronwyn, saying, Hey, do you have that red folder on you? I wonder if that, if the indicator has gone off yet. And when the folder was pulled out, no one but Bobby May heard a little voice that said, Hello? Can you hear me? And, uh, that's where we're gonna pick up, um... Again, this, everyone else, it just looks kind of like a little stoppered cork, a little like this, um, with like a little oily sheen on the inside. But Bobby May, you see a little, little like blob, little little oil blob with two mm. eyes uh, looking mm -hmm. up at you, and just, you hear that little I see voice. like a little face, like a little face looking up at me. Just just little eyes. Eyes, great. Um, I'm gonna look around and see if there's a child on this plane. <laughs> Uh, you can give me a spot hidden check. Yeah. Uh, success, 49. No! There is absolutely no one else on this plane other than, uh, what you came on to the plane with. No, no stowaway okay. children. Okay. Um, did, uh, are any of my companions reacting to this voice? Doesn't seem like it. No, but I, I'm hearing it, like, out loud. I'm not hearing it, like, in my head. It's not- no, it's definitely not in your head. It's definitely out loud. Okay. Oh. Out loud. Okay. Yeah, totally. Um, how- like Who said that? This music. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, the most cheery, like, always sunny in Philadelphia music playing. Why are we listening to shenanigan music? <laughs> oh, it's me. Hi. You can hear me. Um... Yeah, who is speaking right now? Uh, Hello? <laughs> I'm sorry, I should introduce myself. My name is Goop. Wait a second, is Bobby May talking out is loud? Is she talking out loud? Yes, yes, Bobby's talking out loud. Um, I'm sorry, your name is what now? <laughs> it's Goop. G Goop. O O P. Hey, you know how to spell. Where are you? <laughs> who I'm, I'm are here. you talking to? Bobby, are you okay? Hold, hold, I'm gonna like hold. put my hand on her forehead <laughs> to see if she's running Hold on, one, she, she one second, fine. please, y'all. <laughs> I'm in the little, I'm in the little vial. Oh, you, you are okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, doctor. I, I just switching over to Bronwyn. I think I need like uh, a mental check or something because that goop is talking to me. <laughs> Did you You're hit your fine. head? I mean, technically, yes, I did, but like, you're telling me you don't see that blob with those eyes right there in that vial? What do you it's, mean, look at it wiggling around? You hit your head. <laughs> well, I, I, I did. Got down to you. You got all the way fucked up. 
Well, yeah, when I fell in the hole, like I kind of jarred around a bit, and I'm pretty sure that I hit my head as well. So, oh, it's like I said, came you hit your head. Oh, it's not. Oh, great. Okay, this that. Yeah, doctor. I'm hearing that. You're telling me you don't see that right there. You don't see those two little eyes right there. Bobby May, is this the first time you've heard inanimate object talking to you? Yes. <laughs> is this something but it's that's inanimate? It's mo look at it. It's like little wiggling around. No, I understand. I hear you. You think that there <laughs> is, is this the first time you've seen certain yes. things that are inexplicable? Very... You you so maybe you anthropomorphize things that aren't. The really I can, alive sort of I like i can promise you i have never heard anything like this before <laughs> you want to be my friend I, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> Let, let's put a pin in that we'll put a pin in okay. friendship for the moment okay well, all, right, all right great uh, <laughs> maybe this is some later stage of the headaches and the nausea in the morning well, I mean, y'all have been here as long as I have, so I don't know why, well, except for you, Doctor, I don't know why y'all wouldn't hear it either. Given what we saw, I feel like this might make sense to start talking to yourself or talking to things that don't make sense. I'm not doing that right now. I'm dealing with this in my own way. But Bobby May, maybe you need to, like, take one of those pills that Dr. Bronwell has and just, get, or, or, yeah sleep this off sure it's entirely possible that some uh aspect of the stress or perhaps the uh a physical lumps you got when you fell in the hole could be manifesting as audiovisual hallucinations it's entirely that would you like to very take true some, uh, oh. medicine maybe I would, yes. Not at the moment. I f I, I'd, I'd rather not while we're in the plane, at least until we get Parker to a doctor, and then after that, absolutely. Yes, please. Ugh, um, yeah, you're, you're, looking, you're looking real bad, honey. Uh, um, you guys had a run with a shagoth, didn't you? What, I'm I'm sorry, what? You guys had, it looks like you guys had a run in with a shagoth. Is that what that mass of tentacles and eyes was? It was a really dark and like... Squishy and eyes and yeah. Okay. How big was it? Uh, how big was it? Yeah. I mean, big. Um, it filled up the tunnel that we were in. Hmm. Was it a little tunnel or like a huge tunnel? I mean, it was taller than I was. It was about what twenty feet, right? Like 20, 10, 15. 10, 15. It was about ten fifteen feet. Okay. Wide. Uh, it was a probably like a, like a young and then. A, that was a young one. Not like a baby, but like a, like the, it, the like newborns are like the size of me, and then they get real big and they get older. Am I tripping okay. on my meds right now? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say though, it is entirely possible, y'all, that I am crazy or having some kind of psychotic break right now. It's However. Still I have heard things before that y'all have not heard and it turned out to be true. I would just like to say there is a precedent for this of me hearing things and then you guys later hearing them. So let's do a test then. Let's do a test. Who's we'll had who's hear where is this later. thing? Later. Where is this thing? It's coming out of the folder. It, it's no, it's the vial. It's that goop in the vial. Well, its Hi. name is Goop. Yes. Hi, Goop. Hi. Yes. Hello. Um, it, Goop also said that the thing we encountered is a shoggoth, and it was a a, a, a child. Like, a, like a teenager. Like like a teenager. I'm sorry, Goop. So, it was a, so was thinking, a shoggoth. A shoggoth. A shoggoth. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's a Most foreign people word. Don't. Maybe it's like French or something. Oh, Goop, do you know how to spell shoggoth? Like, um, <laughs> yes. You know how to spell your own name, so. S H O G G O T H. Bobby will repeat that spelling back. Patty <laughs> writes thing it down. The file knows how to spell in English. In English, it's speaking English to me. Like I am understanding the words the that thing, it is the, saying. The thing in the file that's in the speaking to you is speaking English. I English. Can speak a different guys, language if you I want. have an idea. She Apparently just said, knows another I'm really language. Now. So she just holds on the like envelope. If 
I want to try something. We'll see if Bobby May is actually crazy or if there's actually something listening. And I'll just hold my hand. Do you mind if I take Goop? Goop, do you mind? As long as she doesn't Goop. hurt me. Be careful. As long as you don't hurt Goop, they that's fine. Or, well, they said to be careful with the folder, so, you know, goop or not, just, you know, <laughs> careful. Hey, I just, I take, I take the envelope, mm -hmm. and I whisper to the thing, Goop, when you're next to Bobby May, whisper sausage. Okay. And, and I give it back. You don't hear anything. Um, psst. Sausage. So, why are you telling me, why... Are you hungry? Do you want sausage? Like what? That, 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 she Guys, told me I'm not tripping. Sausage. That there, that there's oh, something the sentient in sausage. that. In that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna <sighs> pretend I'm asleep again. Actually, I'm. <laughs> okay. can't hear me. You're yet. on pain medication. She hit her head. I don't think either one of you is uh, the the proper authority in these things. I think we should go back to where we came from. Maybe I'm get some only sleep. on travel medication, and I whispered sausage to that thing, gave <laughs> it back to her. Whispered sausage to the vial of oil, and then Bobby May said sausage. That's <laughs> it works. Honestly, that was close to what I was going to recommend. Just uh, with Scientific Teddy fact. holding fingers behind <laughs> his back. You just hear Teddy just mumbling to himself, you can't protect them from themselves. You can't protect them from themselves. You can't protect them from themselves. <laughs> Inner peace. Inner peace. <laughs> it's a good thing you came when you did, Doc. We're kind of falling to pieces here. Regardless of me hearing this vow, I definitely think that we need to crack into this folder and see what the fuck is uh, going on. Yeah, you can look in the folder now. Uh... Oh, I can. Okay. Apparently, I can look into the folder now. You might want to wait till you're not in a plane. Not in a plane. Like, Got it. Like so nice... when we get back to the hotel. Yeah, like on a nice comfy chair or a bed, just in case. Get comfy yeah. before yeah. I read it. Okay. I would be more suspicious, but I'm just going to focus on breathing right now. Yeah. But what if? What if the indicator was our sanities? <laughs> You're just like, Whoa. I don't know. I'm perfectly sane. You should get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Teddy just gives Irina a look after that and just. <laughs> what? What? I can feel you looking at me. You, yeah, I think you should just. <laughs> yeah, sleep. Sleep. I'm, I'm fine. Just... No, I don't think any of us are fine. None <laughs> of us are fine. We keep telling ourselves that we're fine so we can pretend like everything's okay. None of this is we fine. We got attacked by an adolescent goth thing. It's, 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 it's a shagoth. I don't know what a shagoth <laughs> is. Maybe that's a, like a... Why am I repeating feature? a name that Bobby May <laughs> apparently got from a vial of goop? This is know. why no, I think not, we're not, not a, okay. She said it's not a vial of goop. It's real. His name is Goop. <laughs> well, what the hell is it if it's not Goop? I'm just a little I, I blob. Goop is a blob. <laughs> sure. You know what? Is sure. Goop. <laughs> the 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 thing in the vial is talking to you. What other weird shit can happen to us today? <laughs> I'm just gonna believe it. I'm gonna just take everything at face value now, because why the fuck not? That's that's fair. But first things first, Parker to a hospital. Yes, please. <laughs> yes. So the do you chat with Goop on the way back, Bobby? Maybe you just kind of keep quiet. I will. Yeah. Does Goop uh, is, um so is happy I, for it? I, happy. Okay. Irina had the folder. Can I? I think uh, Irina, can I have the holder? Is that okay? I just want—I won't open it. I just want to hold on. I already gave it back to you, you so it can oh. whisper to you the sausage thing. Oh, yeah. The sausage yeah. thing. Okay, so then yeah, I'm just gonna in the back of the plane, like back of the school bus kind of thing. Just oh, that's have a so nice to talk to somebody. Cause I'm gonna been... keep a watch of this conversation, <laughs> just like make sure that I have eyes on the folder at all times because I was entrusted with this thing and I have <laughs> no idea what the hell is going on here, but. You know. <laughs> Oh no, it's, what's going on? It's been real lonely. I haven't had anyone to do, talk do you, to do for people, a while. 
do do you, I mean do you have like a regular person that you talk to or is it I just kind of then, just... then he went missing one day. Damn. He went missing. Yeah, he decided to fly around the Bermuda Triangle in his plane, and he went missing. I used to have lots of friends. Now they can't see me anymore. Anymore, so they lost the ability to see you. Yeah. Okay, Anderson. Am I gonna lose the ability to see you and hear you? I don't know. Okay, all right. Um, what do you do for fun, Goop? <laughs> uh, well, um, I had a little house that I lived in. It was real lonely. I like to hang out with people. Uh, I like to make friends and hang out with them and and do like friend things like picnics and uh. Listen to music and like watch movies and you know we'll take okay. walks. But I don't do the walking though. Like I have like a friend carry me and like a vial Somebody or a flask or a bottle or something. Carry you. All right. And not you and this folder. From oh no. Winter. Hello. Okay, you are- Everybody you are froze. A robot you're, for a you're second. You're cutting out, yeah. But you're fine now, I think. No! No. Okay, let me check. Glad it wasn't me. I'm was on like... my high-speed internet, so... Okay. I think it was just a hiccup. You seem okay, okay. now. I will need you to repeat okay, what you good. just Okay, good. Yeah, because it gave me the- your connection is unstable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I- what did I just say? Uh... Uh, long walks and um, a, carried around in a bottle or a vial or... That's right, that's right. Uh, now, do you, um, you're carried around in a... a do, we got you from Wintercroft. Uh -huh. I don't know if... You did, okay. Uh, do you... Are you... Do you live with Wintercroft? Like, did I, they... I how did, how did you I come lived... to be with them? Well, you see, I was in Antarctica one day, uh, just hanging around doing my thing. And I met my good my, my best friend Hayden, uh, and we started hanging out. And then he introduced me to his friends Sebastian and Lena and Lois and Hunter and Baxter and uh, Bob. And then um and then Sebastian died. And then we got Ash instead. Oh, and Miss uh, 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 Acacia. And then uh, Lois died. And then, um, Hunter died, and then, you know, uh, the rest of them all came back, and they went to Australia, and Panama, and then, I've been mostly in New York since then. Sometimes in California. Hanging all right, out with okay. Ash, or Keisha, or Lena, and Hayden until he went missing over the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle, right, you yeah. said that. So you're f originally from Antarctica. What, what? How'd you get there? What were you doing out there? I don't there? remember. Okay, that's fair. You do seem like a child. Okay. Um. Okay. And yeah, I'll just talk with Goop the remainder. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, Goop is very happy to just talk to somebody. You can see <laughs> talk this, to somebody. Like, like excited little wiggles and like sliding around in the vial a little bit. Oh, I will ask if Goop wants like a bigger like. Container. Yes, please. Okay. All right. I can. I can square that away. This is my travel bigger. size. Your travel size. Yeah. We yeah. can get you something bigger. Yay. Not a problem. I and have a question. Yes. Is she talking to an empty vial? The vial does have that little oily sheen on the inside of it. So okay. You does assume... it move though? Is the question because he's been sliding around happily. Uh, well, you, the, you're moving in the plane. The whole everything's moving, you know. No obvious signs of movement. It kind of just, you know, looks like a little bit of oil shifting with the plane every so often. I kind of wish I had like a thermometer and an EMF reader <laughs> and all the things you have for phasmophobia. Hmm. Instead, I will just look at Bobby May, kind of like sleepily, kind of dazed. I'm kind of looking yeah, at like it's a sight. right next to you. For so what we've having... been through, Bobby is very collected. <laughs> yes. So that yeah. thing is talking to you. What does it even sound like? 
like a little kid. Um, it's very adorable. Um, name's Goop. Yeah. It's just it's literally just like a, a, a little black blob with two big old eyes. Okay. And I wonder if not now, but when we're done, could you take a picture of Goop? So yeah. maybe what you see and what the camera sees are different. You'll see what we see. Because all that's, I see is the oil well, chain. Well, I mean, because like that's what I, I've seen this folder before when when the doctor brought it to us, and that's what I saw. Like this, like it's I know what you guys, what I should be seeing, but that's not what I'm seeing right now. So maybe I did bump my head pretty hard. But this is not. I I'm an imaginative person, but this is a bit of a stretch, even for me. <laughs> I mean, it did tell you what I told it quietly. You couldn't have heard me. Unless no, have... this is a very loud plane. Yep, <sighs> certainly is. We are coming in for a landing soon. <laughs> I just kind of look, look around. Like... Sorry, what? Like that's true. What does it look like? To the, the goop? Yes. Yeah, it's just it's just like a little a little round black bob with two yeah, like that rainbow sheen that like oil yeah like crude oil it's does. Got, it's got like a like a little bit of like an oil slick kind of mm -hmm. sheen to it a little bit, um and it's got these big old what color are the eyes? Is it like white um with it's, it's like white with like the like rainbow sheeny uh over black okay uh, little okay dots. yeah. Yeah, and it's got big old eyes that are, you know, white, and then the the irises, the pupils are that that same like oil slick, oil sheen kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I've taken note of every single thing that she has said to that file <laughs> this entire plane <laughs> ride, no, and the description it. of the the thing, so uh -huh. that after she gets treatment, I'm going to, you know. <laughs> See if it still holds. <laughs> yeah, sure. But I've got where my, he my said notes. We'll let it out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a little concerning. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm um, not letting it out. I'm just giving it a bigger container. It's still going to be closed. You realize, of course, that by transferring it to another container, you have to first let it out of the. Well, first yeah. One. Unless you, I mean, I'm sure we can finagle it where it's not like, a, we could probably get a container that I could like stick my hand into, put the vial in, and then uh, just do like a switch kind of thing. Let's, let's, um, yeah, not now, obviously. Put, that, put a pin in that for right now. Does it need to eat? No, it hasn't been eaten this whole time we've been here. and We've had it for a couple days now. Are you hungry, Goop? Nope. <laughs> nope, not hungry, apparently. Does it Do you grow? eat anything? Do you I, grow? I, Have you I, always? I've eaten not anything? really grown, but I can eat. I just don't need to. If something's really yummy, I want a little nibble. Okay. Okay. So can eat doesn't necessarily need to. Has not grown since they were what found in Antarctica. Eat? It it doesn't need to. So it, it was what like if anything's eat, if anything's really yummy, like, what, what's just wants yummy? A little, a little nibble. What do you lack, Goop? Well, I once had a little nibble of a grilled cheese that was dipped grilled into cheese. tomato soup. With and then, tomato soup. It's and very yummy. I had, um, there was like a, a curry thing one time. I don't know what it was called. Goop's had uh, curry. I had watermelon once. And, and watermelon. I love watermelon. And did it grow after that? Did you grow any when you ate? Nope. Nope. Didn't grow. Oh. Huh. Okay, so it's not like a sourdough. Let's not take this thing out of the vial. <laughs> because let's assume that what you're talking to is actually talking back. Huh? If it's been eating things and not growing, that probably means those aren't the things that it needs to eat. Imagine if we fed a dog, perhaps. I wouldn't want to eat a dog. They're too friendly. It, it, it doesn't want to eat a dog. I did not say anything about <laughs> eating a dog. I'm saying, imagine if we fed a dog nothing but chocolate. That would kill a dog, well, it would first die. of all. <laughs> Correct. Well, this thing may not be killable. I don't fucking know. You know, well, it probably you does, you know, it probably it does know, though, uh, the people we got it from. Why did they send us this thing? <laughs> 
good question to ask. Let's put well, it in the facts. I think I think we might need to make a phone call as opposed to a fax. Again, <laughs> running off the assumption that Bobby May, no offense, isn't fucking nuts. <laughs> I don't feel nuts, so. Most nuts people don't feel like it. It's like, I, I wouldn't it's know. Too. It's like a nut fragranola. There's still nuts in it. You just can't taste it. Interesting analogy. <laughs> I need to sleep. For a I think month. we all need sleep. Yeah. Uh, well, first we gotta get Parker to a doctor. <laughs> yes. Like a, like a hospital doctor. And Bobby May, doctor. maybe you get your head checked out. I, yes, I believe you should also probably. I, I'm attention. I'm not saying you are not while, seeing though. things, but you you had a nasty fall too. I did. I did, and my ribs are killing me. So. What if they gave us the scoop thing? Because didn't they say they saw something in Antarctica? And if this thing came from Antarctica, maybe it knows. Well, they were saying that they think that what happened in Antarctica is tied to what's happening here. They had some They had some suspicious suspicious suspicious. Suspicious. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I I know how to talk. Um. So like, it's very possible. That they're connected, and that's why they sent us this, but I don't I know. Mean, it called the goth thing a goth thing. I mean, it makes sense. Tentacles, it did. shadows. It did apparently know what that is. Okay. Although, I do definitely think that we need to get into this folder. Not here. Goop said it's probably better to be comfortable in, like, a couch or a bed or something, but... Some sleep. Some sleep, yeah. And some food. Yeah. You, I think you missed the picnic, Bobby May. Do we still have like was it I empanadas? Did. Yeah. No more empanadas. No. They've all been I'm eaten. So sorry. I'm, They've all been I'm, eaten. No, it's fine. I'm I'm not all that hungry. I kinda lost my appetite when we saw that big tentacle thing, so that's a I usual kind of want response. to eat more now, actually. Yeah. Just you know Fair. Now the... calamari sounds great. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Do you feel the plane start to tip a little <laughs> as it's coming in for the landing? It's only a couple hours uh, from the from the the volcano from Fuinguino to Ushuaia, and your pilot lands well without any hiccups or hitches. Uh, relatively smooth landing. He goes, uh, uh, "Thank you for flying on the Frau. Uh, have a wonderful day, and maybe uh, y'all get some medical attention." Um, yeah, that's that's where we're going. Um, Doctor, I think you have the envelope with all the money to pay them, right? Oh, yes, I do. Let me get that out for you. Thank you. And she will pay. Mm -hmm. Yep, they will take the money and uh, you know set up everything and start doing the shutdown procedures for the night as it is evening time uh, when you are we coming in. First thing, Parker to Doctor Hurt <laughs> to the Parker clinic to the clinic, which is is, is attached to the hospital. Um, you can you get it there, and Doctor Hurt is. Oh gosh, I need the perfect music for Doctor Hurt. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Yes. Oh good heavens! What has happened to all of you? Ah, uh, well, mostly you. Ah, uh, gracious. Uh, nurse, nurse. Uh, no, hearing hearing that it was you all again, uh, he cleared his his schedule a bit as he was very excited to have a fellow uh, doctor from the UK uh, over. So, Dr. Hurt is going to get Parker medical attention ASAP. He clears a room, he gets things ready, and he is going to try to succeed. I will, I will grab Dr. Brown's wrist and look at her pleadingly. Please don't leave me alone with him. <laughs> um, <laughs> she'll go with him, absolutely. He will try to do a medicine check. And he succeeds. His first successful medicine check in this entire multiple campaigns. Um, what? What? Uh, what were you what? having work on me? <laughs> I thought you said you wanted to keep my character around. <laughs> and you get uh, another hit point back. You actually get two hit points back, uh, Parker. Hey. And you will recover two hit points a day as well. You've uh, got an accelerated uh, healing rate now. Ooh, nice. On a no, scale sorry, of one to because you've been medical treated. One if you're normal, first aid for two, three for medicine. So you get three hit points back a day. Okay, so... When it becomes the next day, you will get do, three wait, more hit so points. Three more hit points. Do I not get the two now? Though you get the or? two now, and tomorrow okay. you'll get three. Yeah. So I'll be back. I'll be back to normal in two days. 
some good some good drugs. Power of good yeah. drugs. Ooh. Yeah. And and making medicine checks and first aid checks, not just one or the other. <laughs> making both. Important. Uh it, it, it takes a couple hours. Um, he didn't roll an amazing check, but he succeeded. Uh, Dr. Brahman, you can assist if you want to help help yes, things. Yes, please. Know. What do I um, need to roll to assist? You could just being there is assisting. Oh, uh, okay, cool. So you are a doctor. You have these skills. He succeeded. Um, so he he'll be just it'll basically go to the next level of success, which means it'll be a, not as long in the in the surgical wing. Uh, basically, any detritus and debris is removed. He is, all the wounds are thoroughly cleaned, salved, and bandaged up. There's no I... bad damage. Your spine is okay. Um, you are going to have a little bit of uh, uh, dead spots for nerve endings there for a little while until you fully, fully heal up. Um, but you, you, you feel in, feeling a lot better. And of course, he gives you uh, op opioids as his uh, prescribed yes. painkiller of choice. Am I stuck at the hospital recuperating for this time, or...? Nope, he, uh, because nothing was broken, nothing, uh, well, your ribs, but you can't really do anything about that. Broken ribs, you just kind of gotta, like, or, like, cracked ribs, you gotta just... They, you don't, you can't do anything about those. So he, they just, he'll just send you on uh, with... with you uh, sure can't. <laughs> Personal experience with that one. Ooh, yeah. It sucks. It sucks. Yeah. Uh, so you just are prescribed lots of rest and pain meds and to let him, him know if, if it, anything gets worse or if you uh, want those bandages. Uh, he, Dr. Brown knows how to change the bandages, but if you... Sure. You know. uh, doctor, is this a of kind course, of yes. injury? Is yes. something that you've seen before? Like, Good heavens, no. What happened? Did you run through, like, a meat grinder on? Did you, like, back up against a meat? What happened to your back? Uh, no, we were down at the, we were over at the volcano, and we we fell into uh, a lava. lava? Uh, no, not lava, lava. but that was uh, a hole. Burning. A like hole. A, a cavern, right? Did he it was slide like a down cavern. a very rocky hole? Because his back yes. is very tore up. Yes. yes. Oh, interesting. Yes. Something like that. But is there... Have you ever seen any injuries similar to this come in, claiming to have been from like a some sort of sea creature that someone has encountered near the, the shore or near the no, volcano? No, or... nothing like this. this is this nothing is, like that. No sea, no. The only sea creatures around here. Are, I mean, we've got some, some whales, a couple whales. of sharks in the summer season, but sharks. we're uh, you know going into winter. So, uh... Uh, that being said, are the there orca's any... quite deadly, but that's more of a bite wound and less of a. Uh, yes, the yeah. orca is. Um, we, this was not. A, we uh, did not see any orcas on our uh, trip out to the volcano. Oh, that nice. being said, are you familiar with any wildlife from the area that was that's unusual? Well, you don't want to piss off a, a vicuna. See? Let me tell you that, my dog. Did you see a raccoon? A vicuna or a guanaco. Oh. Guanaco. They're, they're like a llamas, but the feral in there. Uh, terrible during mating season. They, they try to castrate each other. Uh, you know, it's quite violent. Very sharp well, teeth. What was the other thing that she said that was not a llama? A vicuna. It's it's that one's like an alpaca. Yes. An alpaca. But feral. Because alpacas and llamas are the domesticated versions. Is there any wildlife in the area that's not... We have a big beaver problem, actually. About 30,000 okay, invasive beavers. Okay, thank you. Thank you, beavers. Doctor. That's, you've uh, been very helpful. Some foxes. I appreciate it. Mountain lions. We do have mountain lions, but they're... Oh, the, we'll the, the be on the lookout parks. for mountain lions for yes, sure. I have to get him some rest Yes, now. yes, you should. Mm -hmm. Yes, quite. So we're going to leave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That is my easy prescription. enough to do. Yeah, a new prescription. Uh, you're able to leave. And uh, where was everyone during... It probably took like three or four hours to, to get Parker all... Probably about three hours to get him all treated up and stuff. There's lots of little, like, little rock flecks and dirt in it from just the climbing out of the hole and the running and stuff. So it was a lot of, lot of cleaning. Where was everyone else while that was happening? In the waiting room, at the hotel, coffee shop... Pet store, I don't know. Where you at? I think Bobby heads back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. I don't know about anybody else. Yeah, same. I'm just going directly to my room and, and sleeping the rest of my airplane meds off. Okay. I think this is pretty much how it all works out, that everyone just doesn't say anything, just walks in <laughs> and just goes to their rooms and doors just... 
Bobby's gonna go to the lobby, actually. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like like the little restaurant area. Yeah, There's like, yeah. There's some little nooks there with like more comfy chairs, like for reading and stuff. Okay. Yeah. It do I? I'm gonna go to the front desk first. Okay. Do I have a message from those kids? Do those kids bring well, anything in? They did bring something. Sweet. In. Uh, they're actually at the front desk when you like you get cleaned up, like you put like Excellent. you know put stuff in. You go to the lobby. They're at the, yeah. the, the front desk. And they're like. Listen, lady, I'm telling you, we have something we're, we're supposed to give it to a, 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 a Bobby May, and she's going to give us money. Oh, hi, darlings. Oh. oh, they are legit. Okay, but please, uh, yeah, she's going yeah. to talk to them. Uh, like, <laughs> these, these children I'll, like, usher them, yeah, mm -hmm. usher them away from, like, the front desk kind of thing. They are All right. easily ushered. What do we find today? It's a pretty cool thing. You're going to really like it. Okay, all right. Pull out, like, like, underneath a jacket, like, it's not subtle, it's like, it's like this big. Uh, like yeah. pull out <laughs> one of those volcano snail shells. Oh, a big However, one? Is it... Like this big, it's the biggest one you've seen. It's bigger than the ones in the pots. Okay. But this one has a piece of metal over the opening welded shut. Welded? Pierced, shut. welded, or melted shut, like like a cap on the shell. Okay, can I look? Uh, uh, is this snail alive? Is is or is it just a shell? Um, you like shake it, like trying to figure out. Yeah, I, it's well, alive. well, yeah, because because like snail. So okay, the part that's welded shut is it like where the snail would come out of? Because it is. Like, it is, it is, okay. Yeah, I just want to see, like, can I hear any movement? You do, you shake it and hear, like, click, 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 like, a couple things rattling around in there. Loosely. There's something in there, interesting. Okay, um, I will pay them. Uh, I will actually pay them $10 for this. <gasps> yes! Perfect, thank you, darlings. Anything else, or was it just this today? That was the most exciting thing today. Nothing else, okay. really. Okay, all right, if you find anything else tomorrow- I found this, you know, and it like a plastic fork. I didn't think oh, you'd think yeah. that was exciting. No, that's not quite what I'm looking for, but yeah, thank I you, though. So. Okay, I'll keep my eyes open. All right, come back tomorrow, and I'll have more for you if you've got more stuff for me. All right, Gloria and Esteban usher out, very excited about the $10 and debating what they're going to eat for dinner with it. What they're going to eat. Um, mm -hmm. Does the front- does, is there a phone booth or something here in the hotel? There is a, a phone at the front desk. There's also phones in your rooms. Um, oh, in our rooms. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can they make long distance calls? You can. It'll just be very, very, very expensive. Expensive. Okay. Like, if you wanted to call from New York to the West Coast, that's like, uh, it's like $20 a minute. If you want Jesus. to call from okay. the tip of South America, yeah, I looked into some 1980s long distance <laughs> phone rates and I was like, cool! <laughs> no wonder people were very excited about long distance calls on cell phone ads when I was a child. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I really just want to call and be like, yo, it's Goop Real. Am I insane? Like, <laughs> you can send a fax for, for a penny. I'm going to do that. Dollar. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to, I'll, I'll send a fax and I'll, I'm essentially, I'm going to. Everything. What? I'm not gonna leave anything out. I was gonna say, what do you put in it? You're like, we went to the I'm island, putting in we fell in a hole. I saw the thing. Apparently, I... it's called a shagoth. Saw a statue. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Saw a statue. Took all the stuff out of the statue. I tell them everything. I told them what happens to Parker. I tell them that you know I'm speaking a goop. Like I, everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> everything. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait like 10, 15 minutes and see if they reply to me. Uh huh. Uh, and it then... probably takes like five to ten minutes just to read through your entire fax if you're like just, just, oh, okay. just writing everything down. Okay. Uh, yeah, but yeah. if you wait ten to oh, fifteen, oh, wait, like yeah, like half an hour, there so. would be a reply. Of, okay. <laughs> with more to come, it'll it'll be like page one of, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the first page says, "Ah, you've met." It's it's from Keisha Lexington, so you can imagine it says, "Ah, you've met Goop. It's time for you to open the red folder now. The indicator has gone off." Uh, okay. show to the others at your discretion if you are the only one who can see Goop at this time. He's a delight to work with. Hope you enjoy. Uh, I'll convene with my other men, with the other founders on this report and get back to you, but I figured you should at least have this much. Okay, she looks. Okay, alright. So, uh, Bobby just reads this and she's like, 
Okay. Because I don't think in my original facts, I don't think I told them Goop's name. I was just like, there's this talking blob. And then if she tells me it's Goop, then that's like my, mm-hmm. okay, I'm not it, crazy. Basically, but... the indicator's gone off. Yeah. 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 <sighs> okay. All right. I am not crazy then. Okay. Fantastic. I love that for me. Um, I'm going to go up to my room. Uh-huh. And I'm going to read this folder mm-hmm. <laughs> in the in the three to four hours that they're gone. Give me a spot hidden check as well while you're down there in the lobby. Uh, Wait there. for that fax. S- uh, success, 57. You notice a few, you notice that some of the usual suspects in the lobby. There is a new person in the lobby that you haven't seen before. A uh, very nicely dressed middle-aged man. Uh, a bit of an outdated suit, but, but nice. Reading a newspaper and like strategically set up in the cafe and keeps like looking over at Jack and Doris. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did, does this person look to be a native or like kind of touristy no. like we are? <laughs> Definitely not a native. He looks out of place. Okay. I will notate and file that away. And I think I like a briefcase, a cup of coffee, and it's just reading the newspaper. Or reading the newspaper. Right, right, right. I'm gonna. uh, Is there. Can I. Is there a place in this lobby where I can, like, set up this snail on, like, a table and, like, start take like, just take a couple pictures and then just kind of, like, sneakily snap a picture of this guy as well? Easy enough. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do that. And then I'll go upstairs and open up this folder. Sure thing. Uh, and Goop's very patient while you while you, uh, you open the folder and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't. You... I don't talk to him while. Yes. <laughs> did you have it, him with you while you were all, all doing that stuff in the lobby, or did you have him up in the room with the folder? Um, I probably would have gone up to my room first, put the folder down, so I don't mm-hmm. lose it or misplace mm-hmm. it, and then come back down. So okay. So he's with the folder. So he didn't see what's happening in the lobby. Okay. No. Mm-mm. Just out of curiosity. There's no reason. Um. And so you go back up, and you're going to read the folder. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So. I need you to make me a sanity check. I can do that. Uh... You open up this folder. Ooh! That's Ooh. a critical success. That's that a is one. <laughs> so good for you. Yeah. That is so good I'll for you. i take it. <laughs> because... You open this folder, and inside are a lot of papers. Half of them appear to be sketches or charcoal rubbings, or at least copies of them. You see sketches of these strange creatures, and they're labeled elder things. You see sketches of shoggoths. You see different types. You see sketches of baby shoggoths. You see a corpse eater shoggoth. You see, uh, and that one has like a, like a demonstration of corpse, corpse eater Shoggoth, uh, head remains, and then the bones are spit out. You see more of those drawings like you saw carved into the side of the cave, but far more elaborate and far more detailed. These appear to be copies of like, like, like pictures of charcoal, like a charcoal rubbing or photocopies like downsized so you can see the whole thing on a on an 8x11 rather than having to fold a huge thing. These are apparently right. mural sized at some point. And there's lots of notes in multiple different handwritings. A lot of them appear to be in a Baxter Wiggins. Uh, he signed a lot of the sketches and a Lena, Professor Lena Stoddard for a lot of the writings. And I know she's with Winter One of the Prof, founders, right? yes. Do I, I don't recognize the other name, do I? Baxter Wiggins. Uh, you've heard he was in, he's involved in, in Wittercroft, but he hasn't been seen for quite some time. Like, he helped at the founding, okay. but uh, isn't active. Is not an active member of Wittercroft. Okay, okay. You're not even sure if he's still alive. Um, and you'll get a brief... This is a brief summary of all of everything that you find in these notes. We went to Antarctica to follow in the footsteps of the Percival Lake expedition to retrieve their bodies, continue the research, and bring them back home. What we found was so much more. What we found cannot be told to the general public for the safety of the general public. We went across the mountains after finding corpses of elder things. They looked plant-like when dead, but When we saw them moving in person, they were all too real and all too animal-like. 
We crossed over the mountains, the mountains of madness. There was a huge city, bigger than any metropolis we have seen to this day. It was dilapidated, iced over in parts and in ruins. And just beyond that was a tower. This tower was a beacon and a prison. A prison that, th that due to the work we did, will remain. It was close to breaking when we had reached it, and if we had, the world would already be gone. Oceans would have boiled and dried up. The Nazis wanted to take over this tower, but we managed to stop them. The Elder Things were peaceful at the time. Well, mostly peaceful. They were doing their best to keep the tower maintained, because what the tower contained can only be described as some ancient otherworldly entity deity question mark and it would not have boded well for it to be freed fearing that maintenance work was not enough as the tower was rapidly deteriorating we came up with a permanent solution to entrap this being at least for the next few millennia or so having successfully completed that we left antarctica Half of our number of those who have crossed the mountains over. Sustained great losses, but it was worth it for humanity. Of course, we couldn't put any of this in our reports. If we did, people would want to investigate for themselves. Some might want to undo the work that we did, which would, of course, be disastrous. Or to attempt what the Nazis wanted to do and take the power for themselves. So we left the Elder Things there to guard the tower. It's Antarctica. We described the plains beyond the Mountains of Madness as extremely boring and void of any archaeological finds, in the hopes of at least delaying humanity's excursions there. However, we believe we saw, it was hard to tell, New Year's Eve, we were celebrating in Australia. We believe we saw a few of the Elder Things flying toward South America. When we were exploring the cities, we saw some, and there's like reference picture 2A, like reference picture 6B, like charcoal rubbing this. There's like reference materials. While we were going through, uh, I found some murals and were able to decipher enough meanings to gather that at the peak of their civilization, they had many cities throughout Earth that we humans were Another offshoot of their experimentations. Their sister city to the Antarctica location uh, was not destroyed during a war they had with some creatures. I don't know what they were. We did not dare ask. But after the war, only two cities survived. Antarctica and a city off the coast of Tierra del Fuego, underwater. The Antarctic... Elder Things had heard nothing from their sister city and assumed them all dead. After reading this folder, assume that this means this might not be the case. There might be Elder Things in an underwater city, or, if not underwater, on one of the many islands off of Tierra del Fuego. Don't know what they're doing, but should they be there, and should they be active, find out what it is, if it is hazardous, Humanity, stop them. And there is so many just charcoal rubbings and sketches of these weird creatures and this tower and this pit of darkness, which even looking at that picture, you feel a menace emanating from it, even just in a brief sketch that Baxter had drawn. You see that this tells the... The charcoal rubbings tell a tale of how the Elder Things came from outer space to Earth millions of years ago, when the planet was still mostly jungle, and they created experiments. They were very biologically... Uh, most of their technology was biology-based. They invented slaves, called Shoggoths, that they had. There was an uprising, they quenched it, some Shoggoths remained. There was a few wars 
between different entities. You see a, a couple question marks. Some look like little polyps, jellyfish type creatures. Some look more like uh, those triangular people you saw on their planet. Those appear to have made peace at some point. And through a very, the very long war with the flying polyps, question mark, uh, most of their cities and civilizations were destroyed, and in the process, they lost their ability to go back into space. And thus, went to a very long, deep sleep, the remaining city that was Antarctica. And to maintenance the tower, where, again, in the scale of this sketch, you see they'd built this tower as a, an attempt to trap the... It was a construct of war to attempt to trap the flying polyps, but it went wrong and you saw it attracted something. You see the earth drawn again. The, the continents don't look quite right, but you can see how they could be pieced together. It was so long ago. The earth would be this big. The creature that they ensnared was this big. And you saw that their civilization kind of went into decline after that, and that they kept it trapped there. And there was a new mural that was started, apparently, with the thing tower being repaired due to the help of the founders of Windercroft, it would seem. And it says, on, as an addendum at the bottom, and you've looked through all the reference materials, we founded Windercroft Investigations. Because if that was in Antarctica, who knows what else was in the world, and what other dangers it posed. We're here to try and prevent those dangers becoming too great a threat. And then it ends. Because you got a critical success on your sanity check, you will only lose two sanity. Only two? Oh wow, okay. <laughs> it was just yeah. even way worse. You crit succeeded! That is... A 1 in a 100 chance. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A success would have lost a bit more, but a crit success, you only lose two. I'll take it. I'll take it. And uh, just for your reference, I'm going to send you a picture of an elder thing. You'll love <laughs> okay. it. You'll, you'll love sure it. I'm sure I will. <laughs> so, so very much. It, it, it looks like that statue you found, but so much worse. Um, mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here we go. Here's a nice, nice image. Um, I'll just send it to your personal Discord. That way, you know, okay. unless the group hasn't seen the folder yet, so. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay, sure. That's fantastic. Love that. Um, I'm assuming this takes the rest of the time. It takes several hours to go through it, and like you several. are drawn. Okay. Yeah, it takes you. Yeah. It takes you the entire time that Parker's getting medical okay. to go through it all. There's not as much reading as there is just looking at pictures and kind of like absorbing this. And Goop is, okay. Goop is uh, gonna chime in a couple things like, oh, "I remember that one," uh, just a little bit, and, and is there for any uh, additional questions are, you might have? Are you, Goop? Do, um, are you yeah. one of these elder things? Oh no, I'm just a little blob. Okay, but what are you, darling? I'm a little blob. Okay, okay, all right. Um, are you from that city, that Antarctic city? N they found uh, you in Antarctica. In so. Antarctica, at the at the Percival Lake campsite, they were digging in an old riverbed, and I woke up and I said hello. Okay, okay, woke up, said hello. All right. I don't um, remember anything before I woke up. That's totally valid. I remember um, things, but not like, like I know information, but not like what happened. Does that make sense? Like I know about sure. shock-offs and elder things, and, right? But, but I don't remember meeting them for the first time. Right, right. Like any of your experiences with yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I think um, I was asleep for a real long time. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay. Um, what, this thing that they trapped yeah. in the tower, uh -huh. like... He was an elder what? god. An elder god. Okay. Yeah, it was so we've got... be real bad. Ash so got... actually uh... came from a different timeline, 
um, where the Nazis took over the tower and they had laser shell goths and they were like, they conquered the whole world and, but the world was dying because they let that other thing, the Elder God got out and all the oceans dried up and stuff and it was real hot. That's what Ash um, told me at least. Okay. <laughs> I think that freaks Bobby May out more than <laughs> anything she's read. She just sure. <laughs> um Okay, that's well, well, maybe I'm... like don't tell anybody I told you that cuz it's kind of a secret. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't planning on telling anybody that. Um they already think I'm crazy. Yeah. Um He was on like the parole for a while from the time police because of it. Okay. Sure. Yep. Absolutely. Um, so there's elder gods and then elder uh -huh. beings? Right? Uh, elder that... things. They're just called that here because they're the oldest thing that came to this planet. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm just going to take some time and absorb Probably all of this. Probably should. It's, I imagine it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm handling I'm it better than I expected. I'm surprised, like, it's freaking me out just a tad bit, but, like, yeah. it's not, based off the things I've seen both today and in my dreams recently, I'm not that surprised, mm. to be totally honest, so, mm. yeah, let me just absorb this, yeah. yeah, okay. You can decide, if the others have, aren't, can't see me yet, um, yeah, they might not have as good of a reaction to the folder, but you could show it to them if you think it's important. I definitely think it's important, but I don't know, like, if I... They can't see you. No. Right? Not yet. And Not yet, no. And I don't want them... I don't want them to think I'm crazy, but I also yeah. don't know how to prove that I'm not crazy other than showing them this folder. Yeah, that's so... it's a real humdinger. It's a humdinger for sure, absolutely. I love that word. Um, I can definitely show them the faxes from Wintercroft because they said yep. your name and I did not yeah. tell them that. They're so my, they're my friends. Right, right. I can't so see the, it anymore though. Yeah, yeah. That is concerning as well too. But for now, For now, I think I'll talk to them and not- This will be a last resort, I think, until they can see you. Because, Jesus Christ. On a stick. <laughs> dipped in butter. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. And then, I think Bobby just kind of, like, she freaks out internally for a little bit. And then Understandably fine. so. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> it's a big folder. <laughs> yeah. And that's and what so, Bobby does with her time. Bobby, Irina, you've had a great nap. Uh, you feel all your your travel meds have worn off after the nap. Uh, Teddy, you've gone to your. Did you also take a nap? You've also had a great nap. Um, much more restful than the night of sleep you got before. Uh, and before you know it, Bronwyn and Parker get back to the hotel. Turn off the cre super creepy music now. Get back to the hotel. And, uh, Bronwyn, you actually, uh, recognize, uh, someone sitting in the cafe area as you enter. Oh! Yeah, you see Bob. Uh, Miss Lexington, Mr. and Mrs. Lexington's, uh, old butler? That they, oh. that you saw on your, uh, your trip to sure. Zambia. Yeah, he's, he's sitting there with a briefcase on the table, reading a newspaper, and kind of occasionally peering over the newspaper at the taxidermy penguin Doris. Right. Mm -hmm. Just, just I so you know, don't you, blame you do him. recognize him. Yeah. Is that Bob over there? Do you know? Do you know Bob? Bob. No. Yes, okay. I do. He's uh he's an well, an old acquaintance. He he's he works for uh Wintercroft, in in a sense. He was there when I was doing my, you know, we, we could just go over and say hello. I'm sure he has something important that he's here for. Bob! Oh, Dr. Hughes. Yes. Yes, uh, hi! 
Yes, yeah, um, to run into I you didn't here. expect to see. Well, yes, exactly. It's very funny to run into you here. I was not expecting to see any other familiar faces. Were you sent along to uh, give us some extra support? No, I'm afraid I have uh, retired from my job of bustling at the Lexingtons. I am here on uh, personal business. Oh, vacation. Sure. Uh, okay, well, I'm glad that you have managed to um, find some happiness in your retirement. You had a long and illustrious career, and we will not be long. bothering you any longer unless there was unless there was something that you... Uh, I mean, I... we would be more than happy to spend some time with you if you'd like, you know, so I... if you're, you have... Quite any... different, but I do have a question. Um, I, really? Yes, that penguin over there... Have you seen it performing any suspicious, suspicious acts or behavior? The the, the taxidermied, the taxidermied. Yes, a penguin? ridiculous question. I know, but it hasn't hasn't been a suspicious, has it? It's a taxidermied penguin. I I have not noticed the um, dead and stuffed penguin acting suspiciously. I mean, kind of recently. What do you really? mean, kind of? Please uh, elaborate. Uh, remember the whole episode? Irina said that there was some kind of uh, thing going on with the penguin, some kind of frequency. I sure we've had some experiences here where we've been encountering mm -hmm. certain unusual frequencies, which I'm, have I'm had sure. um, strange psychosomatic uh, responses in some of the people mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. who have heard it, and there have been some claims that perhaps the penguin has some sort of uh, counteractive. A, a signal mm. of its own that is being played mm -hmm. from perhaps inside of the penguin. I'm not sure about the claims, but this is what I've been hearing. Is that... I don't know if that's... That <laughs> is very interesting, uh, more so than I imagined. I would love to speak with this Miss Irina. Oh, I'm I'm sure she will. I mean, she's napping currently, I think, but... So um, I'll be staying here for the uh, foreseeable future. Uh, so. Sure, what room are you in, please? I'm in room 304. Oh, excellent. Well, and, you, it, and you know Dr. Bronwyn Howe again? Yes, she works for Wintercroft. Uh, she and, uh, and I and Miss Lexington and Mr. Lexington, my former employers, let's say, uh, we went to Zambia where uh, the Lexingtons took survey of the black rhino populace of the area and Dr. Hughes investigated the sightings of a, was it, was it a Conga motto? Or a it, it, it was a kite. It, it, yes. it, it would ended up just being a you kite. There were kite. some poachers. Yes, there was. There were some poachers, and uh, they, they were using the kite and the uh, tall tales of the Kongomato as mm. a cover for doing their poaching in the area. What do you Quite mean? Tragic. Yes, I found a kite. Yes, you did find the kite. I did. Yes. Yes, I was giving you the credit you were deserved. <laughs> was the oh, okay nothing yeah. to be concerned about in the area oh no nothing there? to be concerned about okay. not at all well, you did a splendid proven. job taking care of those poachers uh, yeah we resolved the issue <laughs> and the poachers were removed from the picture and um the t tall tales were put to rest and Indeed. like i always say there's nothing that can't be explained by something scientific it's all this explanatory Correct. in the end I was going really thinking about the thing that could, like almost killed him. <laughs> <laughs> gonna knock me on to the other side of the scale on that one. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, well, I can let Irina know you're interested in talking with her. Actually, yes. we should we should go round everyone up. I bet. Oh, please don't Bobby let me take May, up any more of your time. Bobby May is dying to open up that folder and probably is waiting for us to before <laughs> doing it all by herself. Uh. I'll go let everyone know I'm alive. Oh, Do you want to stay here and catch up, or...? By herself? Oh, Bob, would you like me to stay and would you like to have... Or would you prefer I let, leave you to your own devices? I mean, I see you're reading the paper, so... Yes, um, um, I'm fine reading the paper here. When you're all done convening and uh, if Miss Irene isn't too busy, please just send her on down. I'd love to buy her a cup of coffee. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, if you just keep an eye on the, you know, if you see her doing anything suspicious, you go ahead and tell me, all right? Oh, I will. Thank you. I mumbled to Bronwyn. Is it 
good or bad that more Wintercroft people are showing up. It's good, don't you think? It's more uh, support. Maybe more people who can sort of explain the things that are going on around here. Maybe they'll have a, li a little bit more context than we do. Doesn't that seem to indicate that we are dealing with something that needs more support? Uh, no. No. It, God, he's not here right, in a Wintercroft business. He's retired now. Exactly. He's retired. He's here of his own devices. That's what he said, and that is what I'm choosing to believe. Until <laughs> further information comes to light that says otherwise. But for the time being, I'm taking him at his word. Let's uh, go upstairs and hope that Bobby May hasn't done anything rash in the meantime. Hopefully has not opened that folder without supervision. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's very supervised by Goop. By Goop. <laughs> Goop. So uh, that's assuring. Go, go knock on some doors. Hey, I'm alive. I'm on drugs. Feels great. You feel great. <laughs> you said your back does not hurt anymore. Oh. Oxcat is great. What would I do without these pills? <laughs> <laughs> I think um, Pro's probably like, coming! Glad you're good. I'll be down in five. Just need to clean up. I probably like rolled out of bed after my nap yeah. and started like tinkering again because I want to make my little transmitter thing of course. based on Doris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bobby has cleaned up all of her stuff. I imagine she did it like 10 minutes ago. She cleaned it up, put the desk on, like, yeah. or put the folder on the desk. Um, and Have we'll you put the Goop door. into a bigger container or is Goop still in the folder? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I, I imagine, like, on my way there, I bought, what? like, a glass stoppered bottle. That's yeah, maybe, like, like, a, like one of those little water bottles, like the little... Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's it's stoppered. It's, like, secure clothes yeah. kind of thing. Like, when you Clear. when you transfer them and you pour them into the, the bigger bottle, he goes, wee! <laughs> I love him so much. I would die for him. <laughs> I probably am going to die for him. Um, and I, I would just very securely make sure it's, you know... Tighten clothes. Yeah. And then doesn't I will seem open the to door. need air. So uh we just happen to have okay. a more space to slide around in. Good, 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 good. Hey, ah, Parker, uh doctor, uh, should you be up? I feel like you should be in bed, darling. I'm I got the medical seal from both R Doc and the, the one in town. I got rattling pills in a little <laughs> pill case. Plenty of He doesn't finish the sentence. He just kind of spaces <laughs> off for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, darling. Uh, where are we meeting? Oh, fuck. I feel yeah. like the things we have to discuss probably should not be out in the open. So. I mean, I guess, I guess we just pick a room. Pick a room? Okay. All right. Has Teddy come out yet? Uh, no, yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll go three wide steps over. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Teddy, you in there? Where else would I be? Good point. I'm alive. We're meeting up. Or did you want to take a break still? Where? Then Teddy is like, has a moment and the door swings open fast. What did Bobby May do? <laughs> well, I just <laughs> not done anything. Nah. <laughs> I don't believe that. Bobby Why? May Bobby may wouldn't rush on ahead without us. Let's Can't not make accusations better. without, you know, solid well. food. Irina's Wait. getting ready. Uh, oh, and apparently we met a new uh, Wintercroft friend downstairs, so that's fun. Uh, Ex Wintercroft, he's here of his own devices, and he wanted to speak with Irina when you have a chance. Uh, weird, weird shit's happening, Doc. I'm not ruling anything out. Wait, somebody from Wintercroft is here. Ex Wintercroft. Ex Wintercroft. He's retired. He is here of his own devices. I feel like that's that is... more suspicious. <laughs> that seems like somebody will try to get in the fucking way. Oh, he's very helpful from everything I know of him. Okay. You don't sound incredibly confident about that. <laughs> I, I have some information as well. If y'all all want to come and convene in my room, we can. Talk so Bobby May did skip ahead. See, if your room is as good as it. Well, let's not make accusations. Her room is as good as any. <sighs> you have to excuse me for being slightly suspicious since I found Bobby May in a hole after we told okay, her to stop. First of all, the only reason why I fell in that hole is because you shot something. So the person who lives in New York got spooked by a gunshot. 
We were on a serene island. Uh, okay, there's 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 no, nothing is serene about this stuff. place. <laughs> guys, it's all trying guys, to kill guys. us. Oh, right. You guys need to chill out. Who wants okay. some opioids? I opened huh? the open door. Let's not, <laughs> we, let's not be drugs. handing out opioids just yet. <laughs> but I got, I got extra. All right. Um, Guys, do you want me to come back? You do later? not need extra at all. Irena, you're here. Come. come. come on, you Irena. also have a uh, person who wants to speak to you downstairs, but we can talk about that later. Yeah. I, I mean, you're sure you don't want me to come back later? That was. No, very come now. Loud. Right now. There's no time no, like the Everyone fine. should be here for the first I'm time sorry, we open this red Bobby folder. I'm sorry, Bobby May. <laughs> I'm a little on edge right now. That's totally understandable. I know I don't get social cues often, but I think there's tension here. Just, uh, I, I, Bobby waits till everybody's in and then just closes the door. And so, Teddy, you're not entirely wrong. I did open the folder and read it already. <laughs> I'm sorry, Teddy. You were right. Can, can Teddy I? Teddy just opens his notebook, starts <laughs> writing. <laughs> you don't know what he's writing, but he's writing. Yep. Now, Are you working I on will... like a report card or? <laughs> I will say, um, before I did anything, I did contact Wintercroft. This is, I will give it to y'all to read. This is what I sent them, a full report of everything that happened. And this is what they sent back. So, I'm not crazy. Just saying. And you see the facts. He takes the facts, reads it. And they used the name, and she didn't mention Already the name. They did. I, I, yeah, they got back to me super quick, and they said more was to come. They, she was going to convene with the rest of Wintercroft and then get back to us. So so they sent us a little fucking monster in a vial? <laughs> I would not say Goop is a monster. Also, yeah. they did tell me, and you can see right there on that line, it said, you know, they suggest that since y'all can't hear Goop, that I opened it alone, which I did, because apparently bad things happen. If you can't oh. hear goop when you open this folder so okay that well, is why i opened the folder i promise i didn't just go into this half cocked and just so you know. are we supposed to open the folder so we could hear the weird oh, thing that might work uh, goop says that might work if we open the folder give it here you know, well, no, okay. hold on just give it if, here if winter Let, says that we shouldn't open the folder until we hear the voice first then right. don't you think that I, opening the folder beforehand would be dangerous? At this point, I don't care. We have seen shit you, that we should not have seen in the first fucking place. I can tell you everything that's in the folder. It is like scored into my brain. So it really like, is that crit success. <laughs> it is. Yeah, and he just grabs the brain. folder. Oh, I'm just okay. gonna like. Do you mind if I just start? You know, just, just grab a seat here. Oh yeah. Um, also, Irina, are you good? You you know like mechanical and metal stuff, right? I have this shell this it you hear that it sounds like there's something in it do you think you can pop this open can i get you're that gonna open? Need, you're gonna need tools to get it open this, this thing has been welded shut you're gonna need to undo the weld basically or so try I to break to the shell go to, i have to go thing. to a uh go to a shop yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i think Teddy. she just like kind of nod yes i need you to make me a sanity mind. check uh, as you're looking yeah. through this folder um I'm so excited. I'm not, but <laughs> this is what Teddy would do. I'm here for it. Stubborn, bullheaded bastard that he is. <laughs> An extreme success Woo! is also good. You only have 34 sanity at this point? I thought you had higher. Why does it only give me 34? Oh, because I have it as hard. I uh, hard. Okay. That's, that's still, you have double 34, so you have 68. 69. 69. Nice. Nice. Uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice number of sanity. Can't um, change it now. It has it's to still, stay that way. It's still an extreme success. But I was like, wait a minute. If you're at 34, you should totally hear goop. But no, no, it's a uh, 69. <laughs> <sighs> Heart attack moment. With an extreme success, um, you're going to lose less sanity. However, you have a bunch of sanity still, and this stuff does not make sense. The more you lose, the easier some things are to understand, to a certain extent. Um, and Bobby May got it a crit, so uh, in extreme, without being able to see goop, is going to be... Do 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 it's that one. Okay. Oh, I have my slash R. 
<sighs> Two. You lucky son of a gun. Nice. Could have lost ten. That would have been really exciting. <laughs> so. You okay, Let's Daddy? Yeah. Yeah, while Teddy is looking through that, Bobby will explain to them everything that she found out mm -hmm. in the in the folder. Everything? Uh, well. Just out of curiosity. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's that's that's crazy. That seems like a lot. Sounds sounds insane. Teddy's over here like they knew. They fucking knew the whole time. They <laughs> fucking knew and they sent us to the shit in a goddamn way. I'm pretty liberal with the Wintercroft credit card, and I feel like we're not getting paid enough for this. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that that that. There's a lot. There's a lot to un I, unpack. Which listen, is, there's. I, Teddy sees the show. I, God, I, I he's like, that was a little I, one. <laughs> I, I I I I rewind a little bit. I don't tell them anything. Goop told me about that alternate timeline. I don't. Say okay, that. <laughs> that's great. That's I'll, good. I'll, I'll rewind that. Just just that <laughs> one bit. But everything <laughs> else. <laughs> yep. Everything else I tell them. Cool. Oops. Like, I, no, believe thanks. me, they're. Probably wasn't yeah, supposed no. to tell you, but I was just really so excited to have someone else to talk to after so long. Of course, of course. But yeah, no. There's and actually, you also notice that everyone. I did not that, tell y'all everything. So. There is a bigger. <laughs> bottle in this room that has oh, a yeah. machine now. Yeah. Did you take the one the vial and put it in a different one? Yes, I did. Okay, He's so very she's... happy. <laughs> we can't see it still, so even if she lied, we wouldn't be able to tell. Okay, that's a lot. Um, what? Okay, what? Why, why is Goop here? Is he, is he an advisor? Is he just like a fun little <gasps> mascot? So kind kind of yeah. Goop um Goop knows things. I do. Um like about the like the Shawgoths and these yep. elder beings and yep. all of that. So any questions we might have, I feel like Goop might be able to now Goop might not have all of the answers, but I feel yeah. like they might have some not answers. Omnipotent. The, they're not omniscient. Om omnipotent? Is that the right word? I think that's um, right. Omnipotent. Um, all knowing. Yeah, no, I'll know it. Thank you. All omniscient. omniscient is all powerful, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, They're not omniscient, so. It's big words. Very big words. That was um, a good use of the word, though. Why does Goop know these things? Goop uh, was found in, like, a dried up oil bed river. Yeah, a river. Um, frozen. A river frozen in Antarctica. Um, woke up, started talking to somebody there that uh, could apparently hear them. Hayden. Hayden, yeah, um, and knows things. Doesn't know how they know them. Like, they don't have any memories, but they just have this, like, genetic knowledge would be my kind of guess. Like, oh. So, like, a slime. What? Um, it's it's oil in a <laughs> jar. This is, okay. All right. <laughs> Look, Doctor, I know you're trying to find like some reason in this, but I really don't think there Teddy, is. Teddy, there is a sketch of Goop in in the in all the folders. You see a little little like little droplet with eyes and like a bunch of hearts around it. It seems to have been sketched <laughs> in by uh, someone at some point. Just a doodle in the margins. Okay, oh. Teddy is just like crisscross applesauce, sitting on the floor, flipping through this folder, being mm -hmm. like, "Why do they wait until?" All shit broke loose until they told us this. We could have known this before. I would have not signed up for this job. Now I'm in so deep, I have to find out what the fuck is going on. I kind of and he's like just talking gooch. to himself. Yeah, yes. I'm probably like reaching over as a, I'm probably tinkering when I was listening because you uh -huh. gotta do something with my hands. I'm just gonna have like I don't look over the folder because I'm oh. being obedient. Uh huh. Okay. I like. Oh, <laughs> well, you good. could. Look. I could, but I'm being obedient right now. I also, I have other things to tinker, and. She just kind of like gives him like the a look. It's like you're muttering a lot. You want to eat something? Usually, when I'm frustrated, I eat something or drink something. Both. You're muttering a lot. What? Yeah. Um, Teddy, you're you're muttering a lot. Do you want to eat something? Drink something? I'm supposed to protect y'all. 
Yeah. How the fuck am I supposed to protect you from this? Um, I don't even know what this is. I okay. feel like you'd not look at it. This is taking a lot of willpower, so I'm gonna keep staring at my hands here and play look with- Look at this shit! Look at <laughs> it! I kinda <laughs> don't. She just like puts a hand over her eyes, just like- <laughs> I'm starting to think there is a correlation here, and I don't like it. Like Suddenly, it. Teddy gets up, stares at the jar that you have goop in. Mm -hmm. Does he? Can tink, he tink, see tink, it? Tink, tink. Yeah, I can't. He can't see me yet. It's... He goop says you can't see him yet, but he do is responding to you, tinking on the glass. Uh, he's uh, he's well on his way. He, Goop says you're you're well on your way. I don't know what that means. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know at this I point. Like having I don't more think... friends. Goop likes having more friends, so <laughs> it's a good thing. To, so to like, I think I said this. Maybe I'm not sure if I said this out loud. Maybe it really has to do with you know how much your cheese is on your cracker. Huh? Listen, more... you. You better not tell Bobby May anything that makes her crazier than she already is. Excuse makes me, me I am not than crazy. I, I am. feel like I am quite sane. I haven't been wrong about any we of this. We are talking stuff yet. to a jar. <laughs> I am aware of that, but there's a, apparently an explanation for it. Yeah. The explanation does not make us less crazy. It just has an explanation for our crazy. <laughs> I mean, craziness is just defined by what society accepts as true and how much we deviate from it. That's society right. does not accept. You want society to accept that eyeball thing that we saw in that tunnel? Okay. No, I'd rather society not did not accept that. It, sanity is not necessarily a social construct, all right? It's, there is a very strict medicinal definition of what is and does not qualify as a sane response to something. Bobby May, you are demonstrating some very, like, uh, <laughs> signs of audio hallucination and I have seen things like this before. I understand you hit your head. You've been through some traumatic stuff. You've been hearing some signals that have perhaps messed with the the your brain I triggering it in one way that. or another. I can't I, even give signals. You're, you're talking to oil in a jar. You have looked at I mean, for all we know, this is just Built for fairy tales, folklore for the area. I'm, I'm. But I have a feeling she's gonna see me last. Doc it's, has. I, okay, I, Doc, been, I, I don't know. I've been thinking team, about this. I've been thinking there. about it. There is, you know, magnetic radiation in the area. That's something that we know as a scientific fact has been uh, affecting everything in the area. There have been ah, strange so tides, uh, tectonic shifts that have been mm -hmm. causing different uh, tides and whatnot with the, the ocean. Things have been coming up from the ocean that are not supposed to be there. What I think this is, I'm pretty sure that the magnetic radiation has been affecting the, the sea life in the area and something has come up from the deep. I'm yep. suspecting it's a sunflower a sea no. star, something that came from deep underwater and washed up and got stuck in that cave in the, the volcanic island. And it just, because of the radiation, stuff. it has grown to exponential size. And it's, it just, it, it saw us and attacked us because it was, we were not supposed to be where it was. I, okay. there was I did not get, I'm sorry. I did not get beat up by a sea for everything. star. It was a goddamn sea star. That's what I'm I choosing like to believe. I have been far more sane than whatever that was right there. <laughs> I think it back and might see me sooner star. than I thought. Doc, I propose a scientific experiment then. Okay, what is it? Turn your back to the jar. Start making some fingers. The weird blob's gonna tell Bobby May, who's the only one who can hear it, what the how many fingers you got up. Unless Bobby May can suddenly start reading minds, it does seem to indicate that there's something in the jar, right? Yeah. All right, jar. <laughs> jar. Bobby, Bobby will like turn her back so she can't see Bronwyn and she can't see the jar. Mm -hmm. There's no reflective surfaces or anything. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go. We're about to do science. <laughs> I mean, science is just testing to tell, tell you what it isn't. So how many fingers here? Three. But like the German three, where you use your thumb. <laughs> Uh, three, but like the German three, where you use your thumb. <laughs> Was a rat? One. One. 
It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Has she been wrong? Well, that one's a little hard to just say. That's like a... It's almost like flipping me off, but it's like there's like a, like a finger and then like... Like it turned around with like a pinky out on the other side. <laughs> Uh, all right, so you're flipping me off, but like with the pinky oh, out on damn the other it. side. <laughs> Does the doctor suffer sanity loss? I, <laughs> based on the outcome of this test, I believe everyone but Bobby May might lose a little sanity. Uh. So there does seem to be something in this jar that you can't see and you can't hear. And for that, everyone just loses one point of sanity. Just cool. I, I Teddy already Bobby. believes it anyway at this point. I was, so, yeah, I was uh. like... Yeah, so. I'll take I'll take the sanity loss. Just, just a go. minus one for everyone but Bobby May. Again, I, I would like to pause it that I have heard things that y'all have not and I have turned out being right. So I don't know, I know if that's necessarily good, Bobby May. I, I don't, don't, I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying that I I am not seeing I'm seeing something, but I'm not seeing things. I'm not not thinking rationally. Like, like, you know, doctor, I I said, not, really not thinking rationally. Doctor. I, I do have to posit that when I found you, you were still moving after I told you not to. Because I've heard something. Okay. First but of all, but that was not a good thing to listen to. I never said it was, but we are here for answers. Okay. Got Our answers should not end up with us dead. I think they might. Yeah, that's the problem. As I'm looking through this folder, <laughs> I feel like the problem is we're going to end up dead. Which means that I haven't done my job. And you know how much that fucks with me? That fucks with me a lot. But Teddy, we gotta we gotta get to the bottom. I was a loser in boxing. I'm not about to lose at this job too. You're not a loser. Nobody's losing anything. I got Except my sanity. brains scrambled literally, Doctor. Because oh. I lost fights. Might get more scrambled from seeing things. Bobby does not repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> While everybody is like freaking out, can I make a tinkering check to continue my my you thing? You most certainly may. Yes. I'm I'm chilled, man. I I knew that she was you know seeing something that did exist at sausage, so I'm gonna. Yeah. yeah. At least Irina oh. believes me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take do it. A mechanical. Give me, that, give me that mechanical check. Ooh, a hard success. Yeah, you've made a lot of progress on it. You think you think pretty soon you can you, you can get a signal going. Teddy believes you. That's the problem. <laughs> That's Doesn't the want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, I'm gonna. Uh, Bobby like digs into her bag, her camera bag, and pulls out the the crystal joint thing oh. that I got. Oh. And then the the stone. Because I also got a stone from underneath. You got the star. Right? You showed the star thing to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I showed it. I showed it to Teddy. I think. Mm-hmm. And he recognized uh, so the little those. triangles and was like, "Nope." Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, Teddy saw yeah. that. And was like, "Absolutely fucking not." <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll put those on the table with, like, next to goop, yeah. where I've got goop. Sure. He's on the desk. Just boop on the desk. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm just warning y'all. That reminds me of what when I saw that. We shouldn't go down in tunnels. We shouldn't. We should not go down anything. You gotta climb down. You know. Just yeah. Do your thing. You know what? I I'm, just kind of like look up from my thing that I'm working on. Yep. Does that mean we actually have to go underwater? I mean, looks like they really did disappear into some underwater city or something. The problem is, how do we get down there? If they, submarine? if that is the thing, we that's gone. We lost that. They Your lost submarine? that. Maybe talk to the locals. Isn't there a ship coming? The Tallahassee? There is a ship mm -hmm. coming, and then I guess we can do a dive? I don't, I don't know how to swim, though, so that's not going to work out very well. We can take yeah. swimming lessons until the ship gets here. <laughs> do we Get really some... trust the locals? I mean, we know that Absolutely locals are not. part of the cult. We not have. Every... I don't think everyone's a part of the cult, though. We have confirmed at least one, that guy that you saw, who stole the piece of your, who stole your shirt, or part of it. And the Dog Master. I think we the can Doc pretty much Master. confirm that he is as well. There's mm -hmm. a cult? And they've been fudging. Yeah, Goop. Um, I'll, I'll tell you about that later. Okay. So. But it, if everyone was a member of the cult, though, we would not have made it this far. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Definitely not no, they'd have killed your ass already. When what? we were, yeah, if we were in separate rooms, asleep on our own, it wouldn't be super hard. 
I mean, I don't think they want to kill us. They know that that thing that they worshipped is going to kill us anyways. Why bother doing it themselves? Maybe they don't want to kill us to grab us up and sacrifice us to it. That yeah, like I don't think it needs behavior. to. I mean, after you hear that sound now, for a while, you freeze up, don't you? I will say... I have, have not so found, far. Um, remember how I told you that those... Teddy, those kids told us that they found that laugh preserver that said, help, we're still down here? Mm -hmm. That's probably where those missing people are. Is in this underwater city? Uh, well, I'm looking at this folder, and it seems like they believe that might be a thing. Yeah. I just feel very vindicated right now. Fuck. She says that she could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna order us some room service and some drinks, and just. I think we need some food. Um, Bob is going to pick up the phone and order, like, just a shit ton of food and a shit ton of drinks. <laughs> yep, room service will bring up some food. It'll probably take about 30 minutes, they said, to get everything. Doc, oh, you okay? Shitty. No, Parker, but thank you for asking. <laughs> it's alright. Want some pills? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Parker is, like, my favorite thing. <laughs> I just like I had a lot of problems and like it's just a lot easier to deal with when everything just feels I, I appreciate that Parker but I'll hold off no. on that for right now Dr. Maybe Parker, later you have points in psychoanalysis I believe which means if you uh, wanted let me to see. you could give Bobby May a little psych session if you, if you wanted I, I would like to try to roll psychoanalysis yeah, it would require Bobby May uh, agreeing to, you know, go back of and course. forth with some questions and things. Oh, yeah. You could try to Absolutely. figure some, some things out about what's going on with her, and maybe Bobby May will get some sanity back. So yeah, give me a psychoanalysis roll. All right. Success. That is a success. Bobby May, you will get back to sanity. Hey, back to 40. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. And Dr. Bronwyn Hughes... She seems to genuinely believe everything she is saying, wholeheartedly. Um, you do notice a couple of interesting things, though, with that psychoanalysis check. Um, mm -hmm. She is mostly sane. Um, you're noticing a couple of odd tendencies when she speaks about other people and dying. Seems like death doesn't really bother her, uh, which is a bit unsettling. Is this new? Like, have I spoken not, with her about death before and this is a change? Or done is a this psychoanalysis this... with Bobby May before. Um, okay. But you've done psychoanalysis on other people before. Um, right. Some might say... Maybe slightly... You might. There might be hints of some slight psychopathic tendencies in Bobby May. Okay, I will take a note of that. But she, but aside from those, she seems okay. A little shaken, uh, but seems to genuinely believe everything she's saying, and not in a, like, super crazy way. She's still at 40. She's not, you know. If she gets another 10 gone, she may might have a different answer to that question, but at 40, it's, she's, she's doing okay. Not the most sane person you've met, but definitely not crazy. Okay. I probably feel very uncomfortable at like, listening to something like this. I'm be like, I'm gonna go talk to that Bob guy now, and just leave because I'm like, I'll leave the, I'll leave them their privacy, <laughs> you know. Okay. I don't want to hear the yeah. depth of Bobby May's mind. That's private. Yeah. So while well, the food's being cooked up, you go downstairs and you see a, a man that you've not seen before in the lobby. It's been a lot of the same people, you know. No one's really checked in or out of the hotel in a bit, uh, except for you all. And reading a newspaper uh, with like a briefcase on the table and like a nice hat and everything. And just ever so often looking over the newspaper at, at Doris and Jack, who are finishing up a meal. I love to get this. Um, Mr. Bob? Ah, yes, hello. That is, I am, I am Bob and you must be Miss Irina. Yeah. Hi, you want to see to me? Meet you. Yes, I did. Please have a seat. Uh, I interest you in a cup of coffee, tea, wine, 
probably coffee. It looks like it's gonna be a long night. Coffee. She signals for someone to bring her a, a pot of coffee. Um, yes, I was told that you had some interesting information regarding Doris. Yeah, I mean, it emits frequency that we can't hear. It helps mm -hmm. counteract the weird thing that drives us to go to the ocean. Could you please elaborate on this signal? Um, is this a constantly emitting signal, or is it triggered? Do, what, do you have any video evidence of this? Sure, she just pulls out her, her, her recorder that she Audio took a, a video, yes, and just Less gives concrete, it to him. Here. Want... Yes? You can listen to that. It's not going to work as well because it's not radio waves. That's what I'm working on here. She just like, looks at, like, holds uh -huh. up her thing in progress. That is hopefully going to emulate what she does next time we hear that transmitter from the cult. Interesting. And he, see, he, he'll turn the volume down to not disturb. I'll hold it right up to his ear. Mm -hmm. It's what, it's like almost like the opposite of whatever that tika lili, that chicken yes, tika -lili. thing. Yes. Yes, that. Yes, that thing. Interesting. And you say this, you, you're you positive it was emanating from... He looks over your shoulder. Doris. Yeah. I mean, I was near Jack Grimm, and every time it hit mm. certain notes, he'd snap out of that daze. So I yes, figured she was maybe with we could use it for Mr. ourselves. Mr. Grimm at the time. Uh, he pulls it out. Yeah, he, he talks to her. Down. He thinks that there's certain things that, you know, she says, but I'm inclined to believe there's something that emits from her, yeah. Climb. We don't have, you don't have any concrete evidence other than a Other than the fact clip. that she was the thing that made the noise, unless it's Jack Grimm himself, yes, which I could have been something. Doubt. Can't. It's not enough. Uh, may I have a copy of this recording? Um. What are you gonna do with it? Just hold it onto it for uh, potential evidence. I thought you stopped working for Wonnercroft. Oh, this isn't for Wonnercroft. I have a question. Does the word goop mean anything to you, Mr. Bob? Goop is in a, like, a little squishy substance like like you know get goop on their hands while working on cars you can give me a psychology check if you want to see if he's being honest with you yeah i i certainly have a psych psychology so sure no i do not have a psychology yeah he doesn't seem to uh doesn't seem to ring any bells this goop Okay, I mean, that sounds like he's not that crazy, then that's fine. And she just kind of, like, gives him, like, a look, and she's like, So, I mean, more than happy to oblige, but I don't work with you. And if you're not on official Wernercroft business, I don't no. really... I've retired from working for the Lexingtons for the past 53 years, six weeks, and uh, days. So, I am uh, finally pursuing personal interest work. And this is interesting to you. Oh, yes. He looks over at Doris again and his eyes narrow. A May bit. I ask, why? Were you on the Ar Arctica expedition by any chance? Why, yes, I was indeed. Work. I was a butler at the time for some members of the Antarctic expedition. Yes. Listen, we just talked to Goop, or at least one of us did. Apparently, there's another city here, which we suspect there is. Do you want to just come up and have a chat with us? I'd really rather not, but I, my work at present is far too important to abandon. Um, what do you think it is? Think what is? Doris? Doris. Hmm. He evaluates you. Uh, he's gonna give a little. Oh, he did not roll very well. Okay. I believe Doris is a, um, it's a, uh, special case, um. If you call, if you tell me she's some sort of elder god, I swear. That's way too many no, times you're no, elder god. No, no, nothing, nothing day. that, that, that would be crazy. No, 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 just a, um, potential suspected, uh, let's say suspect number one on a few 
Um, I believe Doris might be an incredibly hardened criminal of many devious acts. Right. You see her, uh, Doris, or Jack Grimm, I suppose, performing anything suspicious, I would be very appreciative if you'd let me know. Yeah, she just looks at him and just like... Well... Well, there is something suspicious. Her outfit didn't change. This- I believe this is her outfit from this morning. Yes, because I struggled bust to get it on last time. Mm-hmm. She outfit. usually changes very often. Yes. Diva that she is. You know Doris, personally? Oh. Yes, Doris was also in Antarctica. And... What did Doris do in an Ant Antarctica? Absolutely nothing. He says very irritatedly and looking over like at your shoulder again. Nothing that I could see placed. But you suspect her. Oh yes. She's very suspicious. But... Well, um I don't know what to say to you, Mr. Bob. Good luck with your search. Here Thank you go. You. I will make you a tape. What's your room number? 304. All right, I'll send it over once I'm done my transmitter. And uh, do Very take care. We have a cult here, so just, ah, you know, lay low. Will do. And I don't if believe they will be still... troubling me. I am here for Doris and Doris. Yeah, try your best not to go sailing or, you know, get dragged to the sea, all right? Yeah, yes, yes. She will make a note to make a coffee. I'm gonna uh -huh. come back up. Yeah, you've got your coffee. The, after... coffee. the coffee's come. Yeah. Yeah, I'll grab my coffee. I'll make. I'll like. Uh, I'll make my way back. Hopefully by then, like Dr. Brownwin and like everybody's like done their their chat. She'll just come back in and just be like, like, guys, I think Bob's crazy. <laughs> Bob? Yeah. Why? He seems like such a nice man. He came all the way down here to investigate Doris because she's suspicious. Oh, he dear. called her a diva, and apparently he was on the Antarctica, Antarctica trip in which she was suspicious the entire time, but she did nothing, and now he's using his personal retired time to investigate the penguin he was suspicious of all those years ago. So basically everybody that works for Wintercroft ends up fucking crazy. You Ooh. did see a picture of Bob, uh, Teddy, and uh, like a group picture uh, after the fact, um, and before actually. It seems that he left New York with them. Um, very and uh, if you looked down at the man in the lobby, he looks the exact same as he did that day. Yeah, and he he says Wait, he how old is this picture? Nineteen thirty-three. Yeah, oh. man's got amazing anti-aging properties or something. That's not right. <laughs> what? What? What's not right, Teddy? It's a Bob. Yeah, he I... says he suspects Doris of All right, illegal look, and dangerous activity. Arena, I actually do need you to look at this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she just like kind of like, eh, fine. Doris this guy is also in the picture too. She's in a little oh. little penguin parka. Um. She is very fashionable. He just kind of, huh. This and then is we'll the look... same guy? Yeah. It's exact same. And how many years has it been? 20? 53. 53. Yeah, she can just, she considers that. It's like, you know, my grandmother looked the same for a good 40 years, but this is 53. That's a long time to look exactly the same. Why is he looking for Doris? I told you, he thinks he's she's suspicious. Stuffed... Well, obviously, it's <laughs> fucking suspicious. <laughs> this thing's in that picture. Wait, you think but... she's obviously suspicious, a taxidermied penguin? 
the taxidermy penguin that puts out a frequency that blocks out the weird shit that makes you want to walk to the ocean. Well, That's not suspicious. I mean, I just thought she was stuffed with something. Stuffed with something since this, which was 53 years ago? Yeah, I mean, if they encountered it the first time, maybe somebody has thought to put it in. I don't know. Put what in? The transmitter. The one that I'm making now. She's gonna, like, pat her little pack. I'm hoping to make a Doris-like transmitter so that in the Do you future... think that guy that's walking around with Doris is smart enough to put a transmitter in her? He works with Why people. am I talking about this fucking stuffed penguin like it's a person? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He called her a diva. It's, I mean, we, we anthropomorphize things all the time. It's fine. But, um... Who is this we? I don't know. People? People call their What people snuggles. do you hang out with? Well, you... I mean, I told you my nephew has a hamster. He treats him like a real person. I call Give my gun pal. Pet. Does that count? Yeah, he and, and I call my anthropomorphize things that would not actually have humanoid traits in order to make them more humanoid and more relatable. It's it's a very common psychological phenomenon, actually. Yeah, see, like. Anyway, so this guy's not aged. That's impressive. Maybe he just dipped himself in preservatives or something. Maybe I should ask him for his diet. She considers that. Doctor, is there a way to make yourself not age for 53 years? Well, dipping yourselves in, in preservatives would actually be more toxic than helpful, especially if you were going for a preservative like uh, formaldehyde or something to that degree. The only thing that I can think of would be, I mean, a, an excellent diet. Or there's always the possibility that the person in the picture is his father. And they simply have an uncanny resemblance to one no, another. No, he did say that he's been working for them for four, 53 years. So that's the same guy. You're sure that the person in the photo is the same person and not just the fact that he well, was working for them for 53 years separately from the fact that there's a man said, called Bob in the photograph. Well, he was in the... The expedition. He said that she was suspicious the entire time. The penguin. The well, expedition 53 sense. years ago. Yes. That he was in and he found her suspicious the entire time. Maybe. Maybe Bob just has some really heinous genes and he's looked like an old man since he was very young. <laughs> Or he, he ate or drank or done something that, you know, changed his aging process. Is or, there... <laughs> let's just consider this for a second. Science does not explain everything. Well, I thought that was already a given. Science tells you what is and not what is. It's, and anything we can't explain, we'll explain one day. But until then, it's new and discovered. That's it. There's so much in this folder that absolutely can't be explained by anything or anyone with a rational mind. I mean, we thought the same about genetics. No, 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 no. Bobby May, this is not the same as genetics. I'm sorry, what? The shit that's in this folder cannot be explained by science or rational mind. And you're absolutely sure that they're not just undiscovered sea creatures in the- uh, Well, the the folder does specifically state that they came, like, from outer space, so. <laughs> I knew it. Aliens. <laughs> well, so there is life out in outer space. That's, I mean, makes uh, sense. If this life is- Bacterium and other things that could potentially- I mean, I don't know that anything would be able to survive the- the heat from crashing from orbit through the stratosphere it would it would burn up on impact it unless it, did, it was the, the metal the did also say that they had like a a, a spaceship kind of thing spaceship. too so spaceship. they were they inside just, that they just lost their ability to go into space they oh, adapted ah, too well gotcha. to this planet yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right you're yeah, right, space, right. That's, they used that's to just what... fly in and out of space they used okay. to just fly in and out of the place okay yeah 
But they've lost that ability. They can no longer go in and out of space. Uh, reverse space like they used to. They've so now they just corrupt planets. They've just uh, evolved too much to adapt to Earth specifically. They haven't. So yeah, that war was pretty rough. They're like alien versions of us. Y'all should read this. And, this this and it will, explaining I, this is. It does say in the folder. It does say that you know m the majority of them that they met in Antarctica were pretty passive. Were pretty neutral. It was mainly just like a couple of them. Like I'm guessing the Shoggoths. That were yeah. aggressive. I'm sorry for calling you crazy, Bobby May. We're crazy now. That's the better way to put it. Sure. I'm going to hold off for now. I don't like to mix psychedelics with my opioids. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm laughing in character after that. One. <laughs> So these things are passive. Do they have a name? Oh, they're Does... not passive anymore. Uh, they're they're called elder beings. Elder they don't really things. Have... Excuse me, elder things. Uh, elder they don't stuff. really. Yeah, lots of elder stuff. Apparently, they're also apparently elder gods. Yeah. Um, and elder yeah. gods. Elder and gods. Great right old here. ones. And great old ones. Well, great old ones. Yeah. Yep, that's right here. <laughs> are you talking to Goop about this? Yeah, Goop's gi giving me quite a bit of information. Like I said, Goop knows all the of this. Talking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Scientific I'm name. So I am struggling to follow all of this, honestly. <laughs> why don't we let's? Why don't we focus up then? Because I think we're we're talking about a lot of like large concepts and big ideas and new things. Yeah. Let's focus on what we actually need to be focusing on. Like, what do we do next? I mean, apparently aliens are abducting us under the ocean, so... So we need to go find something in the ocean? Is that the next play? I mean, we're looking for the missing crew members. That's the most important bit. Because... Yeah. And it looks like there's a legit case now for... You know, underwater life that's been abducting people down to their underwater city may or may not be in some sort of rift between the tr the volcanoes because that happens usually every full or new moon so bi-monthly so we find this place the boat gets here we go to the place we grab the people we get the fuck out is that the plan four step i mean out? we're supposed to find out what happened to them i believe i think we have a pretty logical conclusion of what happened to them do we ask wondercroft like we think we know it's those things we have pretty solid evidence <laughs> Do you still want us to continue? Because we found out why they're gone. Their facts did say, you know, to try and stop, right? Their facts said to try and stop, right? If if it seems to be harmful, whatever they're doing, try to stop okay, it. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Did how do we stop that? Because I think only Teddy has a gun. I don't, is a I, gun going to stop it? I can tell you right now, based on what we saw before, the gun's not going to do much. Yeah, I mean, they're probably but, not lightsaber though. wielding. My, but, my flash did quite a bit. I was going to say that right there. Also, there has to be a reason they're trying to get people. So if we can take the people away and keep the people away, then maybe we'll starve it? Can we just, like, blow it up or something? Or we'll make it more aggressive and it will come out and chase after when it knows the people to be in places that we can't control. That's also you know, a if I was some weird game, we're not in that. control of anything, honestly. But That's at least it's learning. not where we are currently. We still have to go to wherever it is. I cannot believe I'm saying this. We still have to go to wherever it is, as opposed to it coming to us and being, you know, here in the hotel where all the people are, or God forbid, in the city. Uh, so here's the question: Why are they no longer passive? I, I think I missed something here. What does Goop say? I know the I know the I know the goth creatures aren't passive. They're they just Shogos. kind of yeah, yes, those, goths. They don't want us. Uh, Shoggoths. Right. Yeah. Shoggoths are just mean tentacle Hungry. creatures. Yes, they're always Anyways, so they're just always like that. And mm -hmm. then there's the others that are supposed to be more passive, yeah? 
They were when the other group met them in Antarctica. They were really but, tired. But they're but they're going. They were they're apparently more active very shooter. tired. So Probably because of the power. Yeah. yeah. So what? Goop is so there in Antarctica. There was a tower, a prison that was yep. trapping a bee in. Right. Yep. It was deteriorating big bad. and a big bad. And that's what the other group did is they repaired that, fixed that, stopped that guy from coming out or whoever it was from coming out. They said mm -hmm. in the folder for several millennia, for a while, humanity will be safe from that threat. But they saw when they were in Australia. Australia. Yeah, when they were in Australia on New Year's, they said that they possibly saw some elder things There's flying up in the air. It's hard to tell. Yeah. It was hard to tell. There were fireworks. Could have been, you know, nothing. But they were suspicious about, you know, Antarctica and the sister location down there. They don't know what's going on down there. They don't know if the elder things that are there are a passive like their, you know, other sister location was the metropolis in Antarctica or anything like that. That's what we've been tasked to discover, I believe. There's only and... like five adults in Antarctica and like a couple, you know, a lot of babies. But like, oh, baby so, babies. quick question, Bobby May. Uh, yeah. Have the facts from Wintercroft mentioned any hazard pay and life insurance? It does not. I honestly don't think I'm getting paid enough. That's totally fair, and I feel okay. like... Okay, we well, here's um, the thing. The problem is... We have to live to be paid. This also is potentially, from the way this is worded in this folder, world-ending? That too. So I don't know how much pay matters if we're all going to literally die mm. if we don't stop a thing. Well, I have a question. What makes any of us look like world-saving heroes? Nothing. I mean, you Absolutely look like nothing <laughs> looks at us. Nothing. Hey, I could save a world or two. That's not meant to be an insult. It just means we are five Regular ass weirdos. And my other question is, why are we doing this and not some SWAT team or some secret government agency? Because this sounds like a secret government agency with Kevlar well, see, and in Antarctica. You. One, they won't believe us. Thank you, Goop. And two, in Antarctica, the Nazis were trying to get a hold of that prison to use it as a weapon and power and I'm shit not like gonna that. Lie. I and you... I feel like not governments. Nazis. Nazis. Yeah. 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 When the Nazis come into the picture, what Nazis have been in play come... this whole story. Oh, well, that's the South Pole. Excuse me, there are Nazis. What? Well, well, I think about it now. No. Now I'm thinking about this. Looks like Flips the pilots. Through pages. I suspect. If we put this... What? Hold, hold on. The pilots are Nazis? Well, I mean, not anymore, I guess. But I recognize them from Antarctica. You recognize our pilots from Antarctica. So apparently our... Wait, our Goop recognize Goop, our pilots. Our pilots as Nazis from Antarctica, From apparently. 50 years back. From 50 years back, I don't back. think yes, all of the Germans... There was, like, some scientists, too. I don't think they were all Nazis. But, like... Yeah, there was a big ol' expedition, couple hundred people, um... Most of them died in a ritual, and then the rest died when Hayden blew up the blimp. Uh, and then, I guess the one plane got missed, cause they were still, they were still alive. What's going on? Bobby, you're, you're, you're pausing for a long that. time. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, the, the, apparently a lot of shit went down in Antarctica. Yeah. Okay. Did that thing say there was a ritual of some sort? Yeah. Some Ask it what kind of ritual it was. What what kind of ritual Goop? I mean, Goop can hear you, so. Yeah. I don't um, want to talk to the jar. <laughs> you ask it what kind of ritual it was. I heard her. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Doc. <laughs> the jar. That's <laughs> absolutely refusing <laughs> to acknowledge. Um, well, it was a ritual to stop the. to, to fix the tower. A uh, ritual. To stop fixing the tower. No, no to like fix said, the tower, to stop the oh, thing oh. from escaping. So, so how do they die in it? 
they were the fuel. <laughs> I don't think Bobby relays this just yet. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel needed, like they needed a lot of energy to fix the crack in the crystal. And was... Wintercroft, were they the ones lead in this ritual? It was the elder things. Wintercroft the... helped because it was fix it, or uh, they had three options. They could do, um, they could donate their heads to the to the wall to fix the tower for a little bit, like you know, like a couple months, a couple years maybe, um, because they were using heads as as the fuel for t to keep the tower maintenance, um, and or. Uh, and so the elder things were going to take all their heads, but the group was like, no, we have a better, let's fix it permanently, because this thing's real bad. And it was, and the other things agreed, and so they came up with a ritual to fix the crystal. Uh, but they needed a lot of people for that, so they, um, they went to the South Pole, where the really, really bad scientist doctor guy... Uh, that was a Nazi once, and they crashed a birthday party, and then they, uh... That the Nazis were having for somebody, so they're all grouped up, and they, uh, did the ritual with the Elder Things. The Elder Things mostly did it, but they, they basically made sure that the Nazis were all asleep with, um, some magic. So the Elder okay. Things could do it. Thank you, Goop, for that yeah. information. Um... Okay, guys, so, um... Now it's fixed! Now it's fixed, yep. Okay, okay, so Your the face Elder got Things... paler by the second. What did it say? <laughs> yeah, can you make me a sanity check for that, by the way? That's <laughs> a lot of info. Sure. You've, just, you've just gotten from Goop from a lot of things. Do right we now. want to know what it said? Honestly, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm oh, success. You're nice. good? You're okay? Okay, Bye. okay. Yeah, so what happened, apparently, there was a ritual to restore the prison um, that the Elder Things spearheaded, Wintercroft assisted, um, but they needed fuel for the fire, so to speak. And um, there was a Nazi encampment at the South Pole. That was the fuel. Um... Are you, whoa, are you whoa, telling whoa. me we are working for people who participated in ritual human sacrifice? I mean, I mean to be Nazis, fair, it was sure, Nazis, but but, so but ritual human sacrifice. I mean, yeah, is it really I know that, that bad of a thing? <laughs> they did want to take um, over the tower and break it and use it for themselves. They, yeah, yeah, they wanted to take over the tower, break it, use it for themselves, have a weapon, destroy the world. So this Go is why we can't give create this laser shoggoths. To the government because if I'm sorry, they would try to use laser these things. Shoggle? It's it was just a thought. It was oh, just wait. yeah. Shogos with big lasers and then instead of tanks. Is this some shit that Goop is telling you? <laughs> I mean Goop was there in Antarctica. With the I, laser I saw Lega laser shogos. No. I, I came up with the laser shogos. I was saying, oh if the Nazis took maybe they would mm. make laser shogos. How's your trip going, Parker? Are you uh, enjoying a good one <laughs> right now? Just, just like yeah. A... How are you feeling, hun? Uh, pops another pill. <laughs> okay, just kind of take the antipsychotic now with yeah. the opioid. Yeah. Yeah, just just kind of coast in, trying to absorb. I think my baseline here is a lot of weird shits happening. Still doesn't really change what we're kind of here to do anyway. Just maybe the stakes are higher. Things no, are weirder. I mean, so that starfish thing beat me up. Hopefully we, we don't run into another one. We decided to work with the monsters to stop the worst Ooh. monsters. Didn't know yep. what it was, though. And honestly, they were Nazis. So I don't really don't care. Oh, I don't care about the Nazis. Fuck all. <laughs> but Just unequivocally, fuck all Nazis. Yeah. But. Not literally. The, the whole ritual <laughs> sacrifice thing is quite unsettling. It was either it was either ritual sacrifice or they sacrificed their heads to. Oh, oh no, no! Hear me the out. Thing. The reason so... it's unsettling is what if we have to do that? I sacrifice mean, a bunch of Nazis. Okay. We we have two. Not Nazis. necessarily Nazis. 
Um, Teddy, it's a, this is a trolley okay, so, problem that I'm not interested well, in. I don't. About. I don't think it is because it's 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 a couple of people or the entire fucking world. So, how many people were sacrificed? How many uh, is a couple? Goop, Goop, do you got a number like a ballpark? A uh, few dozen, like 30, 40. There's probably that many cult members. Thirty or forty, roughly. I do and agree. This is kind of a trolley problem. Forty people. Hypothetically, sure. And then there's probably the another like forty people on the blimp that Hayden blew up afterwards. Uh, that was chasing them. Again, this is all hypothetical. We don't know that any of this is actually going to happen, or what is required Correct. to stop I'm this. I'm just. Thinking out loud, considering all of the things that have been thrown at right, us. Right, and just in saying, past in your day. scenario, if that is the case, that many people versus the millions of people in the world. Um, that's the kind of choice that this we This is have why to everybody make. who works for this place is a fucking nuts. Crazy. I get it now. Um, I get it. I totally get it. I it all makes sense. It doesn't make sense, think... but it all makes sense at the same time. I'm going to draft a fax demanding a pay raise. <laughs> <laughs> what benefits? I don't I don't get paid enough for all this and if we if we continue with this madness, um if I do live, I need to pay for looks what looks like severe psychiatric help. Stop madness yet. I think I need to go maybe see a doctor if I live, and if not, I really want my family to get a, a, a shitload of money. She's okay for now. Cause, uh... Yeah, this is not sounding very good. You guys are giving me real trolley questions here, and... When I first heard this when I was younger, I just stood there. Said where? Not answering the question. Because you're asking me to, 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 what? Potentially kill people? Risk my life? Save the world? What is this? Like, some... Well, to be fair, we don't know anything right now. We don't well, know what would be required. Oh, no. We know <gasps> oh, no. some yes, stuff we, we know things, based Teddy, on but, this. But we don't know. We don't have any answers right now. We don't know what... No, Would we just have a bunch of questions. Or even what's happening. Maybe you, sh maybe you should open the shell. And funny enough, no choices. Yeah, that's no a good choice. idea. Can I do? We, what's I have, a good idea? D what's... Open up the shell, because the kids brought me this, and I would really yeah, like there's, yeah, can, there's yeah, something yeah, in it. Yeah, sorry. Um, no, you're I'm fine. Gonna, you're fine. I'll quickly pop to the shop and um, you know, yeah, grab you, a you can get some, grab a tool and you I'll can come back. Some spend a bunch of crop equipment. money because yeah. you know what? They don't pay us enough. Yeah. Anyone <laughs> want anything else expensive? <laughs> I'll I'll make a list. list. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go off, get the stuff. I'll be Maybe back. don't go alone because like cultists. A torch cutter. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean. Oh. I'll go with you. I need to feel like I need Maybe to Maybe not the high, almost dead person. <laughs> I mean, she kind of just shrugs. Parker, I, I hate to say this, but walking with you, I mean, I'm happy for you to come with me, but if we do come across cult members, the only way it would be better is if I run faster than you. <laughs> and I think I can run faster than you, so we we, we need one more person. Maybe we all go together. Sure. Yeah. Well, I'll probably use a walk, and I'd probably need to think about this. Are we uh, taking Goop with us, or are we leaving Goop? Oh, I wasn't planning on leaving Goop anywhere. Yay! Goop is gonna stay with me. I wanna see all the things. Can't protect them from themselves. Can't protect them from themselves. I have a question, <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> Yeah, can that yeah. thing have eyes to you, or can you just does it just see like three sixty? No, he does. He's got eyes. I don't know. Goop, can you see like all around you? Do you have to look in a direction to see? It's a he now. They, them. I don't. What do you prefer, Goop? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. To any, anything. All right. Um. Entity. Yeah, I could see all around. All apparently all around, but it has eyes. It does. Eyes. Yes, they've got big eyes. They're very but cute. they can see all around. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. what's the point of having eyes if they don't need to look 
in one direction. Oh, uh, they're, they're not... And you see the eyes roll a bit. They're not <laughs> functional eyes as much as they are, like, to help communicate. They are a uh, communication slash expression device. Oh, so he, they have eyes for the aesthetics. Yeah, yeah. That to... implies that this creature has in some way evolved from something else in order it to is a talk necessitate and blob. <laughs> just a little blob communication with creatures like us who oh. require that. Oh, sort this of... thing is one hundred percent an alien. I don't know if I started <sighs> here or on outer space. It's been a it, lot. It of might be one of those monsters. I just don't know yet. But Shame it's... Chernobyl hasn't happened yet. Then we could say that. <laughs> next yeah. month yeah next month it's entirely possible this thing operates on a logic that doesn't make sense to us as long as it doesn't eat us at this point I don't I care I don't eat people yet wait did you did you hear something did you no. did you just no. respond what <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think, Let, I think let's let's go just go store. get the thing let's, yeah. let's go get the store I'm gonna get some 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 chips I think we all need some fresh air. <laughs> yeah, Tom? I mean, I think by then room service will come, and then we'll have even more food. Like yep. Food coma. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all go to the store to get a like a, a you know torch cutter. Um, and Bronwyn, you do see Bob still in the still in the restaurant having having some dinner now. But um, if you saw that photograph. He does look exactly the same as in the photograph, and that. Would make you need a sanity check because you've you've uh, known Bob a little bit better than everybody else. This is right. weirder to you. Oh, ouch! Not a big one. I mean, still slightly flappable. Free sanity. All right. As yeah, no, that that does not look like a sun. There'd be some differences. That is exactly like in the photograph, which unnerves you just a little bit uh, as you go out to get the thing. Just eats up your mind a little bit. And you get a torch cutter, and you come back, and room service is ready. Uh, some chips, some snacks. Uh, there is some lovely, uh, like a seafood stew, uh, some paella. There is uh, some empanadas. There's a nice little spread that has been brought up uh, for you all, like communal style like a big like a big pot with like smaller dishes that you can self-serve into uh, awesome oh by the way you missed the empanadas for lunch they're pretty yeah good. i'm definitely gonna grab some of them now they look delicious and irena i would love for you to give me a mechanical repair check to get this thing open without damaging it. all right let's do it let's let's please work what the absolute i'm gonna push it fuck you push oh. it oh hey it's a regular success, not a hard success. Damn it. So I think I'm gonna have to like I think can I like after like I try and I try break the thing? Like my my tool first? Is that not allowed? Oh, but you pushed it. It's worse. Oh damn Ooh. it. So that that argument could have been made with the regular failure. So you open this thing, it gets really hot. You have to get it really hot to get the metal. Uh whoever put this on was quite expert in their skills. Yeah, was was like this is an excellent welding job, and it reminds you a little bit actually of um, that footage you saw a bit with when Uriah made that um, custom little pressure cooker pot thing. It looks like that welding job. You might assume that he's the one who maybe welded that. Um, that's your freebie. You open it inside, and uh, ooh, a little bit of film's on fire. You notice that there is some stuff on fire, and you're you're able to put it out, but some of it has been damaged. Yeah, she's just like, sorry, it it was really well made. I yeah. It's tricky it's to a compare tricky... this. I am an ape without fingers, and whoever made this is a craftsman. Hey, you gotta open that. I think that's what counts, yeah. right? What is this film? You yeah, see it, that I mean... inside is film off of a reel, like someone had like the the professional camera, but the whole reel wouldn't fit, so they took the film off and wound it around carefully and put it inside here. There is also uh, a voter's registration card, a note, folded up note, and a cassette tape. The cassette tape is undamaged, uh, as are the note and the voter registration card. It's just the film that got a little... Maybe yeah, I think I just first. kind of pass it to Bobby Mays, like, can you maybe do something about this? Um, 
I, yes. I'm not great. I can definitely Bobby will do what she can to like protect it so it doesn't get damaged for light exposure. Yep, yep. Um, I can I can definitely do this, but I think we might have to get this to Heather because I think Heather is much better with video film than I am. Um, um, do we tell her that this looks like Uriah's handiwork? Probably. I mean, she's gonna find out if she watches the film. Yeah. If it's them. Also, I I know that this slipped my mind a while off, but um, you know, if I was some you know weird alien thing trying to ruin the world, I'd be probably capturing people to use them for for labor. Just saying. That is also true. Um, the Parker, you got that letter? What does that say? So. Oh uh, yeah, I could. I start unraveling it and I open you it. Get... You get the, the the voter registration card says wash keys, and it looks like you just finally like finished filling it out. Um, the note it it's very simple and it just says uh, it's folded up a lot to probably to help cushion and pad it, protect it. Uh, you unfold it and it just says to Heather, I know, and then enter. That these dorks watch Star Wars. <laughs> They did. You, I love. I lo thank you, Becky, for immediately These getting fucking dorks. I love them so much. Watch God the voting card. A message from Tanner. <laughs> Welding job by Uriah. I think we're looking at a. And oh, the cassette message tape in a bottle. I do. Yeah, there and is also. Tape? Do we now? The question is, if they are in this underwater city, there could be some crazy things on that cassette tape do we want everyone to hear it <laughs> that's I a mean, great question we might as well i mean i here i don't think you listening to it alone <laughs> is any better than, better and because okay. you're gonna be telling us that anyways aren't Maybe you we can make uh, yeah to it. what about one person listens to it and the others have earmuffs or something else that blocks out the sound so in case the person has an adverse reaction to hearing it they still have other people around the you know the siren method i guess it doesn't it might not be like, like the Odysseus. bee that it just like if it hits your body you you are susceptible to well we don't effects. know if it has anything to do with just the vibrations of it being a particular mm -hmm. frequency and that's what causes the I mean, it, this could be a good experiment. It's definitely radio waves that do it. It's not. It's not regular. It's not. Like, the, but is it the this... sounds or is it the? She just the... plays the sound that she had, like that, but that she recorded. Yep. See? It does not have this... the. Say, you get goosebumps, but that's it. Yeah. Does this okay. sounds cassette tape do something, but not? Right. Does this cassette tape look like the professor's? It does. Okay. I think this just might be maybe the professor talking, but like, if there's any background stuff. I think that's what I'm more concerned about if they are in this ancient sunken elder thing city. You know, like the there's Tekalili truly sound. only one way to find out. Yeah, I agree let's, with let's listen to this tape from Evil Lantis. Let's go. <laughs> Evil I all hate right. all of this. Just Press play whenever you want out there. This. Okay. Uh, are we back in the hotel room? Yeah, yeah you're, you're yeah, back in the hotel room. We have like so much food. Got, I just we got like food. On the pie. Okay. I'm ready. Someone okay. passed me the empanadas. <laughs> all right. Uh, so the sound is going to come through roll 20. Uh, here we go. We hit play on the cassette tape. Um, hello. My name is Professor Marvin Howells. I am one of the four crew members of the sub Titan Uranus. The other three, Tanner Huntington, Uriah Pendergast, and wash keys. We are still alive. Our sub was taken by something, not entirely sure what, but it was taken to this underwater facility, a city, I, I, I'm not entirely sure. It is a giant bubble that these creatures, these peoples I, I i i guess the I, it's hard to explain but these creatures are forcing us to work on something a large structure i i think it might be a transmitter 
but a transmitter large enough to transmit anywhere on Earth and, well, maybe even beyond. But we are not the only ones here. Uh, many people from um, ships that had gone missing, they are here too, along with their shipwrecks, being brought down to this place. We are trying what we can to escape, but, well, we need help. If you are hearing this, then maybe, just maybe, we are roughly in the same vicinity as you, and you might be able to find us. If not, well, I guess you will be the last person to hear this voice. You could do me a kindness. If you could go to my room in the Villa Priscilla, there is something I have hidden. Um, well, it's actually in the bookmark I use for my diary. Um, it's quite easy just to push open. If you could give that to my sister back in England, I would be grateful. I think she should have at least something of mine. At least something that special. I hope someone hears this. And I hope that I will see the light again one day. Oh, um, one last thing. Beware the eyes in the dark. We need help. And the tape c clicks to an end. Been nice to have that warning about the eyes in the dark a little bit ahead of time, but um, yeah. <sighs> Can I? Fuck. Hey, they're um, still alive. That's good news. No, it's Can not. Make... It would have hey, been easier they if they were dead. Wait, like labor. Now, space. now we have to go. Nail on the head, there. Irina. Nail on the head. Can I make like a listen check to see if I hear anything in the background yeah, of his same. recording? You may most certainly do, yes. Can I also do the listens? Yes, anyone who wishes to make a listen check may do so. Hard success. Very nice. I do not roll well. Irina, you don't hear anything in the background. Uh, Teddy, you hear like the subtle, like a whooshing noise. Like, um, like, like, kind of if you're underwater. Like, if you, like, put a bucket over your head, you, like, go and, like, underneath the swimming pool. Sounds kind of like that. Bobby May, you hear that. You hear that whooshing noise. You also hear tinging. A tinging sound? Like, like, mining or moving rock. It's, there's some kind of work in the, di it's in the distance. It's very quiet, but you hear a little something. Okay. Yeah, I, can y'all hear that? It's like a, a, like, it sounds a little bit like mining. Like somebody's, so, like, hitting something with a pitch, uh, a, a pickaxe. We did well, say that, that they're making them work. Them work, yeah. yeah. That's, we did find the, the evidence of said work on that island. Yeah. Is this the, oh, that... is this the place that the guy was talking about with the bookmark and stuff? Or is that a different place? The villa? Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the villa, villa per yeah. Brescia. Yeah. Uh, Parker would make a note to go grab that. I believe it was a bookmark, correct? Um, you did not find anything super special, um, but you could give it another go. I mean, he did say, go to my diary, you know, find yes. this. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it another what? go. What time is it? At this point, dinner it's getting time. pretty late. Okay. Dinner time. It's, it's, it's like a past dinner time a little bit. It's like 9 p.m. 10 p.m. I have a question. Was this the first day we hung out with Dr. Hughes? Or the second? I think it was like the day second. two. This is day two. Okay. Because <laughs> she, she didn't have a nightmare the night before when all y'all else did. 
cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Sorry, I was just I was yeah. thinking about the actual time that Doctor Hughes has been with us. Our descent into madness <laughs> yeah. has been exponential. Um, you got Teddy over here like science isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's right, and and so was climate change. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> so. So they are definitely taking slaves, which means, hey, I have a question. I mean, how how often does our government take tips that, you know, a foreign governing entity is taking away good American citizens and and putting them into camps? Well, who do you know as a government? You know, I mean, even if you don't, if they don't believe us with the weird alien things. Honestly, maybe we just... Babe, maybe it's better to leave that to let's off. keep well, them out of this and the yeah, reason I being don't... is much like the nazis tried to use them our government will too yes but how are we going to fight against um creatures that may or may not have laser swords they're not the shoggoths but they're something else sabotage. and they're enslaving humans sabotage guerrilla warfare right except you know they want to build know. something that makes a a, a signal we, we just need to stop that you know i have an idea you're not gonna like it probably not but now you have to tell us let's hear it bring doris to it <laughs> which means we'll have to bring the doctor or take doors from the doctor we don't well, have to bring the doctor well, we can absolutely separate you're them. saying we have to steal the penguin i don't know because... something about that relationship kind of i don't know what's going to happen if you try to separate the two because <laughs> think about it right that penguin can sabotage the signal that they make if they're looking to make an amplifier we make one right back Bobby May, where's your band of pickpockets? Where do they find this thing? They're not pickpockets. They come the beach. They found it washed up on the beach. Right. And they they were originally given everything that they found to the dock master for a dollar, you know, like per thing. But I told them if they came to me, I'd give them five dollars. And today I gave them ten. So hopefully they keep coming back. Well, what? can they show us where they found this thing? Because all we got from this is it's nearby. We haven't looked at the footage yet, but I mean, no, we haven't. And I would like to get it to Heather, um, along with that note. But I feel like, like, like anything she sees might, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but Honest. I don't know who else could develop this film because I could try developing it, but I'm not. Like I said, I, I, the film to video, I could look at the stills, but. It's very different. It's a very different craft from so it's a different it's already damage too. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. And, I, and Heather, Heather has experience because there was some acid on their other film, so I feel like she might be able to do something with this. So, and you know, why don't we just ask Jack Grim? He's a weirdo. We're all weird here. Might as well. <laughs> He's probably inclined to help. Maybe he has a second submarine. You never know. If he was in Antarctica, him and Doris. Uh, I feel like we he can ask came him here this. to look for weird. What things. do we got to lose? We give him an opportunity to look at weird things. We tell him that his bird, his his is special and could possibly save the world. Who knows? Can we leave it for tomorrow morning over breakfast though? Because I feel <laughs> yeah, like I, the pills we need are to get you to off. bed, Parker. Yeah. <laughs> the world's becoming a lot more solid now. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna have I think, to work I think we on all... an amplifier for my transmitter, but first I have to work on my transmitter. Uh, yeah, I think we all might need some sleep. Sure. Yes. Though, so, you know, do... Is there anything that prevents the radio waves from going through us, Doc? Prevents radio waves. Um, I'm sure there there's. Like short of wrapping aluminum foil around my head like a crazy. Person. Yeah, I was thinking that. That's the exact <laughs> the exact thing that I was thinking. With some sort of foil. like metal sheeting is the only thing that would really. Fortunately, I was also thinking the same. 
<laughs> we really are those people. <laughs> I mean, if you if you sand it down really good, I mean, I I made weird little costumes for my Please nephews and nieces. Do not wrap yourself in aluminum foil or metal sheeting. <laughs> hey, hey, Goop. Yeah. What do you know about a taxidermy penguin? Doris. Yeah, Doris, that one. It knows the name of the. <laughs> she was in an article. I told you, just believe. She's a little weird. She like do anything? Is, is there anything unusual about her? I haven't seen her do anything weird. She just sits there, not moving, and then wears has different outfits every day. Uh, but mm. Bob certainly thinks she's weird. Yeah, Bob did. Yeah, I guess Bob told Irene but that. Bob's but Bob's kind of weird. Bob is kind of weird. Yeah. You want to know why? It's a secret. I, could tell I would love Wait, to. Wait, we're friends, right? Yeah, absolutely. I okay. didn't, you know, say anything earlier. You didn't, so. you didn't say so. I want to make sure. Well, if, you're, if we're friends, then I can tell you and keep a secret. Okay, so Bob I is part of the time police. <laughs> You know, surprisingly, that makes a lot of sense. What makes yeah. a lot of sense? What Goop just told me. <laughs> what did Goop just tell you? I'm sorry I am sworn to secrecy. Because <laughs> if you tell people, everybody finds out Bob might get mad and he might have to put you on time for all like kid Ash yeah. for like 50 yeah. years. Is that the one that went missing in the Bermuda Triangle? No, that was Hayden. Ash is married to Miss Lexington. He's the one who came from the alternate timeline where the Nazis got all the power and stuff. And he wasn't supposed to be here, so Bob put, was going to take him to time jail and put him back in his original timeline. But he managed to do some smooth talking, and he got to stay here. Uh, but he, he's has been under 24-7 uh, supervision uh, because... <laughs> Uh, there was apparently two other times in time where he would, might break the time police law. So that's why Bob's been like his time parole officer. But I guess he's done now. And now Bob's looking into Doris. Because apparently uh, Doris is like suspect number one for a lot of time police cases. You have to keep Bobby May, your, your face is doing that thing where it's getting all pale and ashy again. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. It and Bobby looks like just... a, we'll sleep on it and cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, let me stew on this for a bit, because it's a lot of information, so. Okay. And. Yeah, it is. I, I won't. And we're good you. to talk to Jack Grimm tomorrow. By we, I mean, she just looks at sure. Parker. Sure. Oh, I do want to stop by that guy's room and grab it. Yeah, him. yeah. Trying As you're all mento. coming out of the hallway to, you know, go to bed for the night and stop by, you know, the professor's room, uh, you run into some familiar faces in the hallway. Oh. <laughs> uh, you see uh, Gemma and uh, DJ Yakumama, if you don't remember. Gemma Collins. Oh, uh, oh. And I forgot and they her, were coming here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that her uh you know some of her assistants the the merch manager uh some of the other people who were there handing out flyers and tickets and they're like she's like oh my goodness i did not expect to run into you all here that is what it's oh. what a, not a delight uh -huh. she like hides behind bobby she's like eh? <laughs> side steps what um what are y'all doing here oh we've got a concert here in a, in a you know, coming up soon. So we, we figured this was the best hotel in town. They had a few rooms left, so we checked in, and we're we'll be staying here. Pop you out. I pop out one behind Bobby. What what night is your show? Well, you see, this is the last stop on the tour. So we're having a performance tomorrow night and a performance the night after. You should one absolutely the, not do any of that. The, the, the VIP performance. Uh, None of, of it. So you remember how that storm happened in the last one? Yes, quite a well, that was, I've been on a couple of uh, performances since then. But yes, when yes. We, the last I saw the, you the all, one where, storm. Yes, yes, where we were all this. You know what? I'll give you three tickets to this Let's event because just we say all did so well. Another storm oh, yeah. is coming. Now wait, hold on, Teddy, just a moment. 
I think I'd be uh, like, are I'd you, like for tickets. Are you, you're a performing artist of some ilk, yes? Yes, I am a DJ. Ilk. Right. He managed Which to go like, to her show last I'm an eco-techno DJ, specifically. Right, it's what kind of, really what kind of, show. um set up do you have for your well your we've got uh we've actually, actually rented we've got a large yacht uh we've brought down it's the um that's what c said this is so not good doc this is such a bad yeah, I'm, I would like I'm to more say... interested in the uh electrical aspect of your your setup oh, for your show. Uh, my manager has managed to procure us top of the line technology oh, uh with some solar cells that will help supplement uh you know some of the carbon offsets and emissions of this uh, tour Mm. Lots of, uh, lights. Oh yes. Is her manager here? Oh, he, he's not with her at this moment. He, mm. You could guess mm -hmm. he's probably doing paperwork down at the front desk. Okay. I would just like to remind you, DJ Yokomama. Uh, yes. Last time, oh, please call me Gemma. Unless I have Gemma, your mask on, <laughs> then right. please, Yokomama. Yes. Sorry, Gemma. Um, last time we were on a boat with you, and there was a concert. It did not end very well. Well, those are the floating think... islands with a the, what the first storm that knocked out those Uros islands in uh, several hundred years. Uh, and we've really diligently checked the weather forecast, and it's supposed to be that... clear sailing for the next week. Weather, yeah, the weather is going to be phenomenal. However, we do have evidence of a lot of boats in this area going missing. So that is concerning. I'll have to have yeah. my manager speak with the dock master about it or something. See if we that... can get some information. Maybe don't speak with the dock master. Uh, yeah, not the dock master. I will oh, say on, on Dr. Bronwyn's question, how big are your lights and speakers? Oh, that we've got, we had to replace some of the equipment after the storm. Yeah, we lost some, but water damaged. Uh, yes, we've repaired what we could and we've uh, gotten built new ones um, for what we couldn't. And they are excellent top tier. They'll resound for quite a good ways. Top tier lights and speakers. Top tier, yes. Hmm. So it's the finale of the tour. I'm sure it is. Very important. Oh, yes. what's your yacht's name called, by the oh, way? Oh, that's what C said. <laughs> I love these names. Top and tier names. <laughs> you're gonna be on. You're gonna be performing on the yacht then. For yes, the performing night. on the yacht. Yes. And. Hey, I, I remember we just talked to our resident volcanist slash, you know, climate change advocate lady, you know, the yeah. second part, not so interesting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, yes. Uh, but what what day is that day then? Like in terms of moon phases, the moon phase? you know, we're, we're particularly oh, concerned about that. It's next week. It's, you've still got a few days. OK, so we got a few days. Yeah, tomorrow, just the next of... night, it's still gibbous. You're still it's a waxing gibbous moon. You're not till full moon. Uh, hold on. I'll tell you exactly what date the full moon is. Uh, in case you were wondering, today is Wednesday, April 16th. Or, no, I'm sorry. <clears throat> yes. No, Wednesday, April 16th. Um, it's been a long day. Uh, tomorrow's Thursday, and let's see, full moon, April 19th, I already googled this, I can tell, um, April 24th, so you've got a full week from tomorrow for the next full moon. Okay, 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 if so, that is the case... Week from tomorrow, yes. I will probably, like, just place, like, a hand on, like, Bobby May's, like, arm and be like... I mean, I'm happy to take our tickets. We're just really tired today, so if we're saying sure. some odd thing, it's just... No, I completely understand. Travel just drains me. I completely understand. Yeah. Uh, here, she'll hand out. She's like, how many? See, one, two, three, five, five tickets? I'll give you six, yeah, just thanks. in case. Yeah, Thank you. This, if you need this any more, let me know. Case ticket. We stay um, just up at the end of the hall. And, um... There is something. The Dark Master's not going to tell you, because they like to keep their reputation quiet you know, well, uh -huh. you might want to check your yacht before going out. Right, I will. Um, yeah. We, yeah. we, anything in particular? We do have proof, we do have proof that they, that the Dockmaster has been doctoring their records to not accurately reflect the ships that go missing, so. Well, be careful. Just for general sabotage or anything like I, that. We'll do a thorough check over, uh, before we do anything. Um, Locals aren't very friendly here. Noted. Well, you're, you're not planning to take it out before concert day, are you? No, I was going to, we've got a little private concert for the the um, the members who got the VIP, uh, won the VIP lotto for the last several concerts. Uh, so that'll be one night and we'll have the, the, the bigger concert on the next night. Yeah. You're welcome to what? either. I mean, really, you were the VIPs of us yeah. on those surviving it, on that island is last Is the VIP time. one in the week or is that the main concert? Oh, uh, 
Once tomorrow night, once the night after. Gotcha. And the full moon is is like a week next from week, tomorrow, so we're good. Yeah. Jesus. So so character. we're 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 safe in terms of moon phases. Mm-hmm. But we don't know if they only work on the moon phase. Is right. the thing. And as much as this stuff could be helpful for what we want to do, if they take it all for their transmitter, that might be really bad. Yes. And another thing out of character is if if they want a new fresh stock of slaves, <laughs> we might want to stop these people. Honestly, we might we should be the people sabotaging their yacht. <laughs> Are we stealing the yacht? I mean I mean stealing a yacht sounds kind of fun. <laughs> but um also, you know that like um trolley problem? If we're sacrificing people, now's the time. We might set back the climate change movement by a lot because a lot of these people care about the environment, but this would only work for current timeline. <laughs> I'm gonna let you all uh, get to your to sleep. Um, yeah, glad you... glad to see you're doing well from the cave incident. Yes, no, it's been an absolute blast. Have had a wonderful time uh, going around doing more concerts. So excited for this last one. I prepared a really special mix. So I'm very excited for oh, you to hear it. What type of sounds have you recorded this time? Well, you know, I'm an eco techno, so I've uh, got some local recordings. Um, it's, let's just say it's going to be ocean theme. Does any of your right. sounds sound like the, the just the general sound of like tech a lily? The tech what? To, no, I no sound like that. I don't okay, have okay. that sound bite. Okay. What makes that That's, sound? I, I don't. It's just a. I dreamt it. Starfishes, maybe. Interesting. You know, maybe yep. you're a promising DJ in disguise. I often dream of, of some sick beats. You know? Yeah, yeah. De maybe stick to, you know, this copyright <laughs> inventors. Maybe don't use that sound. <laughs> of course, of course. That's your sound. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, darling. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> All right, we are as well. We've got a lot of prep to do for the next couple of days. Do I need a roll to find the memento, or do I just find it? Uh, since you, I know where. It since goes. you have a better idea of where it is, yes, you find it, and I believe it is a Victoria Cross. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Very From fancy. World War Two. Yep, Victoria Cross. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'm tucked it in this... very carefully. You'll get to where you need to get to if I make it through this. Stash it away for later. Okay. We could also I... give it to Heather, since Heather's not coming with us. Yes, do you give the film to Heather as well? Yeah, and, yeah. And the I'll... cute little letter. And the, and the note, yes. Oh, that is a good idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, are we? So we're dropping the bomb and it's like, hey, heard from your <laughs> boyfriend, good night. Hey, they're currently yeah. doing slave labor. They're good night. But they're still alive. Still alive. Hey, can you develop this damaged film for us? Hey, well, we hey. Go, well, we so all your go tears? Sleep. Good night. <laughs> I'm just going to leave you alone with your thoughts till morning. Is that oh, okay? Well, poor girl. Poor girl. <laughs> so you give her the film. She's like, yeah, yeah, I can see this. With, like, uh, she said, this father's like washed up on the beach. That's interesting. Okay. Then you give her the note. And she's like, <laughs> thank you. And closes the door and you say, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> poor girl. I wonder what I know be... means. Must have some strange significance yeah i don't know what that is that's <laughs> it's strange I it must watched. be like an inside joke or something what if she really is pregnant and he knows <laughs> that could that's very true that could be it yeah that's actually uh, what i was gonna ask like did her did, did, did she get a positive or a negative test y'all like, haven't asked so uh yeah I, did she just close the door we don't want to be all in our business <laughs> like that what i mean I mean, we're already in her business, so... Yeah, all are the worst. What's another question? <laughs> yeah, her door is currently closed, and you can hear her sobbing and being like, no, go, I'll go, be go, your, go, the go. princess laying your on solo. <laughs> That's a strange thing to say, but okay, I'm gonna go to bed, y'all. We're gonna watch Return of the Jedi. Just hold on. I'm just gonna knock on her door, just be like... Oh my god. <laughs> what? The also, door's not open. leftovers. Okay, you just get, get food. <laughs> Close. <laughs> if you're gonna cry, drink water, alright? Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. Close the door. Yep. I, I, I just made sure she's, she's having food. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and as everyone winds down for the night, goes to bed of sweet, sweet, nightmare-filled dreams, 
Uh, well, for most of you. Um, not all of you, though. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up what the session that here. Mean? You'll find out next week. Uh, except for Snow. Snow, you just have regular nightmares. You don't get you get your characters just get regular nightmares. I'll tell you because you're not gonna be here for the next two weeks. But uh, everyone else, you'll have to wait and see. Ooh. Uh, so. <laughs> I feel like we all learned a lot today, and we're gonna go around. We're gonna say where we could find you. Uh, highlights, your favorite moments from tonight were, and uh, yeah, who you are. We find you. That all that. We'll go in reverse order from last time. Uh, Doctor Hughes, Hannah, how is tonight for you? Oh, it was so much fun. I've lost more sanity tonight than I have lost the, the entire time that I've been playing this game beforehand. This was. So much fun. <laughs> I I very much I, no, seriously, it was a lot of fun. I very much enjoyed today's tonight's session. Thank you so much, Lindy. It was perfectly creepy and fantastical. And um I'm I'm Hannah. You can find me on Hanimation Art on Twitter, Hanimation Studios, pretty much everywhere else, just playing Hanimation on Blue Sky. Um, you can find me next tomorrow. I will be over on High Shelf Collective for a one-shot of Monty Python's co-curricular medieval reenactment program. Um, we are raising money for charity over there. A very exciting. Lots of fun. Can't wait. And then on Saturday, you can find me over on Wandering DM's channel for Scion, Birth of the New Gods. We are uh, godlings who are definitely not getting into trouble upon trouble. And uh, other than that, I'm back here for more Call of Cthulhu. Very, very excited. Very excited. I'm so glad. So glad you had fun. Uh, someone who totally had fun. It's Teddy. Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fun. Exactly. Learned so much. <laughs> so much that, that Teddy wishes he didn't learn. But he had to open the folder. He had to. Bobby May could not be the only one. Uh <laughs> Uh, oh man, best moments of the night. Or, well, I'll just narrow it down to one, one, one thing, one element, one goop. <laughs> Every scene that goop was in was something else from the giving the finger to goop to <laughs> the, the unhinged conversation about time cop stuff. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of very interesting <laughs> tidbits that we learned via Goop tonight. So, yeah, what what a time to be alive because there's another time where we wouldn't want to be. So. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm Dumples and Dice all around the Internet. You can find me here uh, and then on Saturdays over on D&D Jordan Lee's channel for Ampastrano. We have... Two more episodes, and that is our season finale. So two more Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Come see me. I am playing uh, a Sapphire Dragonborn Psionic, uh, and she's kind of cunty. Wonderful. That's, Some, that's what I got. <laughs> that's fabulous. Someone who is not kind of cunty would be Irina. How are you? <laughs> oh, the, I appreciate the white lie there. Now, um, you know, uh, am I am I in the running for highest sanity here? Is yeah. Is, is... What is everyone's sanity at? Out of curiosity, I don't want to know. Cause, I'm uh... at fifty nine currently. Nice. I've dropped down to sixty six. I'm sixty four, so I think Teddy's still still in the lead. Seventy five. Forty. Nice. Oh, Ooh, oh Dr. the doctor. Okay. Doctor, yeah. Okay, good to know. Carry on, carry on. Don't worry, Doc. It's coming for us all. <laughs> You're next, I'm Doctor. Getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there, but you know, um, no, I think I think um, Prince said it best. Uh, Goop was an absolute delight. Um, all the lore drops today was amazing. Um, I also just appreciated how everybody's reactions were ever so slightly different. We had, of course, Parker, who was just like, I'm too high to give a fuck right now, but I'm definitely going to give a fuck tomorrow. Um, we have Bobby May, who's like, I'm not crazy. We had Danny, who's like, you know what? You're crazy, but I'm crazy with you. And, of course, we have, like, our wonderful doctor who had a, a proper meltdown today. It was just like, but science, though. <laughs> I loved that. 
Um, just it was a very unhinged session. Like we were an entire door, no hinges. <laughs> um, it was excellent. So, you know, I'm really excited for next time, except I won't be here, which is why you won't be finding me here, which is the only place you'll ever find me because I refuse to go on social media. Um, <laughs> so I will be here in the new year. January. So yep. happy holidays, humans. Please eat well in my stead. I'll take very good care of Irina while you're gone. I sure you will. Well, uh, someone who I've taken such good care of would be Nuggetosaurus. How are you? How is tonight? I'm, I'm fantastic, and I would agree. I think you've taken very good care of me these past seven years as a DM. So I, I, <laughs> oh. I have full faith, full faith. Um, yeah, I'm Nuggetosaurus. You can find me here pretty much exclusively on Mondays. Uh, for our Mondays in Exandria, we're playing the Call of the Nether Deep, the uh, Critical Role campaign. We're coming up towards the end of that. We're in the end game now. Crazy. Um, you can also find me here on Tuesdays, starting hopefully in the new year for our Ghost Assault Marsh campaign that we're going to be starting. I'm very excited for that. And then, of course, on Wednesdays as well, and the occasional Saturday, if and when we get aliens back up and running. Um, my favorite part, of course, Goop, like just <laughs> all of the insane shit that he's telling me, and I'm like, I'm gonna tell you guys half of it. Like, just <laughs> you just get half. <laughs> the rest of it I'll keep to myself. I also really liked the conversation, the psychoanalysis, like with, with Dr. Bronwyn. I'm very excited to see where that goes and what those revelations lead to. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, just Parker just being high the entire episode, just just, <laughs> just totally vibing. Like, nothing is bothering Parker right now. Teddy getting insane with me is phenomenal. I love it. And then... Um, Irina, I, I, I love the conversation with Bob. Like, you were just so nonchalant about it. And, like, just, it's obvious that Irina cared, but at the same time, she didn't. Like, just the culmination of the day. I love that. That was phenomenal. I loved everything. Tonight was phenomenal. I keep saying that word. I'm sorry. But it, it's just a perfect descriptor. And I'm very excited to lose more sanity and go even more insane in the next couple episodes. So Happy it'll be great. Thank you. Thank you. And speaking of great, Parker Lee, how was tonight for you? Hey, I feel better. Uh, don't do drugs. <laughs> uh, responsibly do drugs, I guess. Uh. I mean, I had a lot of fun playing Parky Bleed at night. Um, this is currently what I'm doing. I'd love to do more stuff. So if people are doing stuff and want to invite me, I'm all for it. Uh, I mean, everyone said pretty much all the main things I would have said. So uh, honestly, though, I, what I do love is the, the little details. Like Teddy just writing things secretly in his notebook. And it's like, grades? What, what are you doing? Um, Bobby May. I, I keep wanting to bring back the phrase pulling a Bobby May, but I'm afraid <laughs> of both the character and the player. <laughs> um, but going off and doing stuff on the, by themselves without telling anyone in case it's dangerous. Uh, Dr. Bronwyn's descent into logic, logic madness. And of course, Irina just tinkering away, making progress, getting results, uh, and having such an interesting conversation uh, with... Uh, not at all a suspicious fellow who has entered the story. So I'm happy we got new information. I'm happy we got directions. And uh, I'm I'm kind of looking forward to Parker eventually reaching that level of uh, sanity loss. At the same time, maybe not so quickly. <laughs> well, we'll have to just see, won't we? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my favorite moments of tonight's game. Uh, I loved the indignation that uh, you had you would say is what do you mean this is this doctor's first successful role of the campaign so far uh, that was pretty fabulous um, Irina and her tinkering I, I love that That's she's going to be doing a lot of that in the next couple days to get her device up and running and we'll tag along in the background of whatever else everyone else is doing um, she's a tinkerer at heart and I appreciate that uh, obviously getting to introduce Goop and therefore uh, confirming for our viewers, some of which who I know watched Beyond the, Mount Beyond the Mountains of Madness, which was my first uh, Call of Cthulhu game that I GM'd. Uh, now you can really start to see the threads of the two campaigns being woven together and the connections, and that just brings me a lot of joy, uh, personally. 
Uh, I also loved Teddy being like, give me the folder. Like, I'm reading it. Fuck it. Uh, and then being we like, absolutely terrible on that sanity loss, man. You could have been so much closer to seeing Goop. I mean, Goop is a delight. Don't worry. I have a feeling you'll all get there. <laughs> the last group did. So, it's just a matter of time. And, uh, you know, Dr. Bronwyn just, just trying to logic everything. Just, like, there is a reasonable explanation. I'm just, I'm so here for it. I'm so here for it. And, and you know what? She's not wrong. What is magic if not science that we don't understand? So, there's just giant, ancient, uh, lots of knowledge things floating around there that will know a lot more than we do, and it's pretty crazy. So, uh, yeah, that'll be great. I just, I can't wait for, for this campaign to cul culminate into more. And now DJ Yakumama's here. I know Trooper is composing right now, <laughs> so I'm very excited for the next, the next batch. Uh, I gotta make a trippy video for that one, too. But yeah, next week, tune in. It'll be fun. We've got more Below the Land of Fire where they're getting they're getting more info. That's for sure. And I can't wait to see what they do with it. I'm at the part where I'm like, all right, all the prep was, was done. Now I just see what they do. Uh, and that's that's always the most exciting part. So, yeah, that's that's it. You can find me also here on Mondays with Nugget where we play our Call of the Nether Deep. And um, you can find me specifically on Trooper's channel on Friday for uh, the finale of Traveler, uh, Praxagorma Thesma Forest channel for Carousel Court, and uh, for the next for the next two Tuesdays, for the rest of December, on Perception Studios for a uh, Dragon Age campaign that I'm GMing. So two more sessions of that. But thank you all so much for watching and joining the san insanity and madness with us. And until next time, have fun. Again. <laughs>